if everything's cool, someone asked me that hey, thing. Up. Yeah. What happened? What, what happened last time on Mega Man's? Uh, last time on Make Amends, uh, get ready for this limerick, it's real fucking short. <laughs> Oof. Our heroes walked away from the rust monster infestation and returned to their wagon for a bit of relaxation. Laszlo prodded Peter about facts from the past, and Shinra proved incapable of relating to the cast. Al talked about dragons in their far-off lands, and Mikaela learned to channel power through her bare hands. It was overall a quick point of much-needed rest, so our heroes can press on to their next test. It's hard to do last times when all all we did was talk, you know. RP, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 they, you get it. Our heroes left a place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, good job. So, it speaks to my soul. We're all just trying to leave a place. So, we would be, we would be cutting directly to the next day, but there's some, there's some business to finish up with the night. Got fucking bidness. There is bidness. We're getting stabbed. No one Please no. Please fucking no. Nightmare. Oh god, not Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> there so, never was a Leslie. So Cornelius, Morfogu, Varus, you guys, you guys turned in a while ago. You're 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 clocked out. And whether through agreement or just circumstance, Ravi, Ravi and Michaela are still out here. Tristan, Tristan has been chatting up with Peter. So has Michael, but that has been not especially <laughs> useful. And yeah, the night, the night's just sort of wasting away. What is the weather like here tonight? Uh, the weather, it's, it's a nice cool night. It, Ooh. it's a little, it might be a little bit, a little bit too chill, just because you're, you know, pretty close to a water feature, but... It's not too bad. Yeah, uh, I'd Sun say in that case, fire. Robbie definitely has one of his few belongings of, I guess, like a blanket that somebody gave to him while they got here. He just has it kind of like bundled around him. Oh, um, baby blanket. He, he seems to be like trying to write down or record something and like trying to see if he can recognize any of the stars here. Hmm. Uh, Michaela. She, I, I assume she came back from her debacle after some time. Tried to yeah. clean herself up, make herself not look so awful. She probably has her clothes cleaned and drying somewhere. Um, because she was still pretty stanky. And she, she sees Ravi doing that stuff. And she, she kind of just like looks up at the sky too. And just sort of enjoys the silence for a moment. Not, not entirely sure how she wants to, uh you know, talk about what she just went through. But, uh, after, after a moment, she, she decides to, she, she, she gets up, and she, she walks on over. Goes, goes up to Robbie. Uh, kind of, kind of, kind of looks at him. What are you doing? Uh, he looks up at her kind of like, uh, he leans away a little bit like, mm. Now is the time that you realize, as stinky as Shinra was, because she was in there for a thousand years, seems like Ravi only has this one outfit. <laughs> um. <clears throat> uh. He just kind of flips his little book around, and he is trying to, like, draw the constellations from what he can see. And, um, he has little, like... He has little, like, doodles on the side of, like, it, it looks like different kinds of, like, clouds and, like, uh... So, Lamp said it was getting to, like, mid-spring. Yeah, he, he's got, like, little drawings of, like, the leaves just starting to come out on the trees. <laughs> hmm. So you have an interest in the stars, huh? Mm. Uh, they're different here. She she sits down. How do you mean? Mm. He points up to one of he points up to like the brightest one you can see, 
and then just like off a few degrees to the left there's another smaller slightly dimmer one there um he points to that um back home that star had a brother really second one he is missing here hmm I wonder why that is shrug I don't I don't have any books on stars in the cart but perhaps the next town we go to will have a library or a bookstore we can we can pick one up for you if they haven't hmm Things are very different here. You don't really talk about where you came from too much. Far, mm, far away, not... Uh, do I have this word? Hold on, let's see. He doesn't have this word, but he can give you context clues. He, um, he kind of, like, tugs on the, the shawl kind of thing, the blanket he's got around him. Not like this. Hmm. Not what, um, what a share language help? <laughs> I do have one of those. Uh, uh let me think. The share language has been cast on Ravi before. As I recall, the main barrier once you reach that point is just Ravi is timid. Oh, okay. Home is... Like that. Hmm. So right. there's... I see him. I see him. People wear clothes like yours. But... Really? Hmm. Long. The wind. He he kind of he kind of makes a, a motion of like wind catching clothes. They wear your clothes. With wear your clothing. Mm. Mm. Trying to trying to figure out if you got that right. She looks down at herself. Like, is there literal fire or is it like a desert? It's not uncommon to wear this kind of clothing in the desert to prevent sunburn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I see. There's not literal... Everything is not on a literal fire. That's good. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> well, I don't know. Hell exists in this game, probably. I have been to... a place of... desert and fire, but... The fire was from men who wanted to see him. Mm, he's trying to think of the word. Big? Mm. Mm. Strong, strong. Mm. I can only assume they were afraid of you. Unfortunately, humans tend to fear what they don't understand. I don't understand either. Hmm. Fear can be a very powerful driving force. Usually not for anything good. Fear. Hmm. Hmm. 
he he seems he is he's chewing on that and he he definitely has something to say in return to that but he's trying to figure out how to how to put it into words like he definitely has something to maybe like retort that but he's trying to think of like a way that it will get across and not be lost in translation because it's it's more of an emotional thing that he is feeling Hmm. Strong men with fire. I do not fear, but fear for me has done good, I think. Do you find yourself afraid or fearful more often than not? Yes. I'm I'm starting to feel that way too, I think. I use it to be strong. That was, there was one thing I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I, I feel like I'm not strong enough to keep you all safe. We, we almost lost Morphobu and Cornelius back there. And if I wasn't there to help, then, you know, they, they wouldn't have survived, but Maybe if I was stronger, then, you know, they may not, you know, get hurt as often. He nods. Hmm. You... I... I know... I know this feeling. But for me, I only protected Ravi, just one. Mm, it's easier when it's just yourself, isn't it? But you are just one, Michaela. Yeah, I am just one, Michaela, but still, I feel like I have to do something, something more. I'll I'll patch everyone up after after, after every fight. That's that's easy. That's not an issue. But seeing everyone get in that position in the first place. It's it's too much, you know? Ravi kind of has a very small smirk and, like, looks down a bit. He, like, scratches the back of his neck. It is because we are stupid. <laughs> well, who's stupider? The stupid one or the stupid person who gladly joins them on their crazy adventures all stupid <laughs> here is here is different i meet people meet things creatures i don't know i fight them for ravi for michaela Four points at tense, but I don't know them, so I am stupid for fighting. When I was just Ravi, 
things I fight, I know. So I'm not stupid. <laughs> he kind of puts an eyebrow up like, does this make any sense to you? <laughs> she laughs a little. That kind of makes sense, but also not really. <laughs> hmm. But it's nice having you here either way. Oddly enough, you're easier to talk to than the rest, except Varys, because, well, she's a Varys, so. Can't go wrong. No, you can't go wrong with Varys. Maybe we can help each other become stronger. I've... Early on, I thought about just leaving, but, well, I'm sort of swept up in this now, and I care about all of you a great deal, so it looks like I don't have a choice but to stay and protect the people I care about. You... Mm. Michaela is not the only one with that idea. Yes, this idea of prophe prophecy and grand heroes is a little overwhelming. I really hope I'm not a legendary hero. I am. My plan, once all of this was over with, was just to start a normal life somewhere. Help some people here and there, maybe, and just have a modest living. I don't really want to be a hero. Save the world and deal with demons and devils and angels she kind of gestures over to uh this this gaggle of people mm -hmm. hmm. can't leave now no we're too in the thick of it there are scarier things than prophecy. Hmm. I just hope we're prepared for it when the time comes. No. Stupid. Can't prepare for things you don't know. I guess, I guess that's true. We can just do our best. Very nice. Perhaps... Hmm. I'm all for key... Er, blah, 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 blah. Excuse me. <laughs> Can't speak. <clears throat> I want to help you learn to read more and all of that, but I want you to do something for me as well. Raises an eyebrow. I want you to teach me how to fight better. She kind of doesn't like punch, you know, when you like lightly tap something with your fist and she just taps his fucking arm muscles. <laughs> hmm. He, he kind of, like, takes a few breaths in and then, like, tries to think of, like, wh what he has to say about this because he's trying to figure out, like, why in his head. <laughs> he's, he's piecing it together, though. No other weapon. She, she sort of looks at him like, <laughs> like, what does that mean? Um, well, I've when I was in the woods earlier, I, um, I gained a, a new power similar to yours, only more magical. It's more, she, she holds up her fist and it, and it glows with that, that sort of nasty energy. Hmm. Since my spear is somewhat out of commission for the time being, 
I think it would be nice to have some sort of backup option in case, you know, it breaks or it's it's right on the edge. So I'd rather not use it too much right now. So in the meantime, maybe I can find... What is it you use exactly? Some sort of... It's like a glove, right? Um, uh, which one is his tent again? Um, yours would be... Not this one, with Morfogu crouching yeah, on top cool. like a crow. Yeah, that's... Or, yeah, he's just sleeping on top of it. <laughs> uh, I think I think it's that one. He he kind of shuffles. Yeah, this one's pretty finger, Like, give me one sec. Shuffle, shuffle. Horn gets caught. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela can't help but smile at the awkwardness of that exact situation. He has a bundle. A bundle? Um, he kind of lays them down on the log, and you see that he technically has two different sorts of weapons, or technically, technically three, but, um... The glove that Michaela was mentioning, he shows that, and it's it's not even a glove. It's just like a hand wrap, basically. It's a couple of like sturdy, well worn like straps of leather with like these uh, little spike studs on the knuckles and on like the wrist area and the forearm, and it's it's a cestus, is what it is. But um, they they look very well worn and. Uh, he holds that out to her, as in, like, is this what you meant? <laughs> yeah, something something like this. She she sort of holds it up. It's a little big for my hands, though, but mm. perhaps the next town will have something similar, a blacksmith or a leather worker or something like that. Um, you will need... <sighs> he, he puffs out his cheeks, realizing that he's never actually properly taught somebody else how to fight. This was never his job. Um, I don't teach how to fight. I just fought so the small ones wouldn't. Mm. I fought so he 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 motions to her so you you didn't have to you you don't know exactly who he means by you it kind of mean it kind of seems like a general sort of thing i don't know where start teaching um. Hmm. hmm. She she sort of stands up. Well, we're not doing anything right now, are we? He kind of looks around, looks up a bit. S sleep soon. Like I'm gonna go to go to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I suppose. Perhaps we can have a sparring match sometime and just sort of see what happens. Uh, he's he's wondering in his head how well that will go. <laughs> <laughs> I was not trained to train. Only to hurt. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to be careful then, won't I? Okay. She, she holds her hand out. Do we have a deal? He kind of stops and, like, looks down really ponderously for a few minutes. C 
because this is basically him agreeing to let Michaela go ham and get herself hurt all the time. And he realizes if he teaches her wrong, then it's going to be his fault that she gets hurt. And he's also thinking about, like, hmm. Okay, but you do thing for me. All right, what is it? Don't tell people I am here. She she gives him a look. What do you mean by that exactly? That you're here? With everyone. Don't... Hmm. Oh, do you mean you want to keep this training secret? N no, no. No. That is for you say if that is for you then it is Michaela's don't tell uh, uh. He, he's struggling with the words here on this part um if Next place we go, people ask about horns, or he just kind of pats his own chest. Don't tell them. Ah, uh, but the fact that you're a tiefling, right, right. Mm. Anything. Robbie. All right. I'll I'll keep you a total secret. I'm big, so it's hard. But yes, yes, I, kinda, I'm wondering he, he how we'll do him. this, but we'll we'll he, do our best. He tugs his blanket over his head in a fashion that you you rem you remember now. He seems to do a lot when you're in towns around people. He tries to hide as much of himself as he can. The horn makes it difficult. Yeah. <laughs> right. A lot of people. I know how people feel about tieflings. Don't worry. I won't. I won't mention it to anyone. What you really are. You have my word. He nods at her as a sort of thank you motion. Okay. You need sleep if you want to be strong. Hmm. You need sleep as well. I'm already strong. <laughs> and that's why I asked you. Oh, and remember, Robbie. Don't pull any punches, or don't go easy on me. She goes in her, her tent, and that's that. <laughs> Cornelia screaming from his tent, listening the whole time. But minding his own damn business. Nah, he's sleepy. He's sleepy. He's sleepy, baby. <laughs> Guzzle Baba, he's, he's having a time. Yeah. Michaela goes off, and Ravi, you're just left out here with, you know, the rest of the no sleep gang, which has recently gotten a bit larger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does Ravi not need to sleep? No, Ravi, Ravi does, but. Okay, I was gonna be like, what? <laughs> but before it was just Tristan and Michael. Now Peter's here too. He looks up at that part of the stars that he pointed to earlier. And just says, where you go. 
Yeah. You you stare up at the stars, and the rest of the evening passes without incident. Five a.m. hits, however, and there's another UFO. <laughs> <laughs> In the what? same place as last could you, time. Could you fucking imagine? <laughs> It's his friend, he's coming to check on him. He's like, Phil, where are you? Oh my god, he's oh, put, him, put him in the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> my best <laughs> friend, Phil. Was, I thought, oh no, I know what happened now. <laughs> so. Anywho. So tomorrow comes around and you get you get back on you get back on your way. Um who is going to be who's going to be riding up front with Songbird? Just just wondering. I, I would like it to be I play our character. Hmm. Michaela's gonna be sleeping because she was up late. <laughs> I mean, Varys Cornelius has up gone front. up with her quite a few times, so. Yeah. Do you, do you want to go up there, Rue? No, I, I'm. I'm just saying, like, I've already been up with Sonberg in the <laughs> front, like, a couple times. <laughs> so I've done my time. No, I'm just saying, let somebody else have a chance to chill with Sonberg. Sure, Varys. Varys can be an annoying, terrible friend. <laughs> yeah, all right. You'll be you'll be the one bothering Songbird. That's not going to matter immediately, but it will it will matter in the it will matter in a bit. Okay. Eventually. So, there's this gorilla. <laughs> 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 so. so. Maris, you don't even know what a gorilla is. It's like uh it's like one of the picture books. It's like a dog. Like a big dog, but more ape-like and not a dog at all. Why are there two more fogus? Um there only see one. Aren't oh, there's <laughs> oh, oh, over, over here. Oh, oh, they're okay. hiding. The boys are hiding. Yeah. <laughs> the boys are in the void. The voids. The boys. Sneaky young man. <laughs> so, I'll put on let's see, this one. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, no. Unsavory. So, yeah, because Dogen's here. Yeah. No, no Dogen. Uh, Dogen is here, and the worst case scenario is no. happening before your very eyes. I told Dogen her no! And Dogen and Shinra are talking to one another. How? Is Peter, Peter. really- No, Peter! <laughs> Peter is- Peter doesn't I mean, know. if you learned anything about him, he's a little bit whipped. He'll no! kind of do anything if you ask him to. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Morfogu just scratching the days into this chair that it takes for Dogen to die of whatever illness. <laughs> <sleeping>. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. So Morfogu, mm -hmm. you woke up today, not feeling spectacular. Yeah, I know you woke up today. Every day I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you woke up this morning, it wasn't bothering you too much, but now it's starting to bother you a lot. There is like a pretty serious ache in your jaw, and oh. you take one point of dexterity damage. Oh, oh shit! Bad. What? Bad. Well, we did what make four, uh, two people made fort uh, saves yeah, down in the, just and about then that. they they definitely didn't have an effect, so I think you're getting, like, rust jar or some shit. Ah, shit. And I have to roll another thing. You, you are having, ah, uh, hold on, I have to, I have to make it, in my, all right, you're fine. It's... You feel like if this persists, it could get difficult for you to start talking. It's fine right now, but god damn. Ah, what did I eat? Ah. Morfogu's like checking his teeth and shit. He's like checking his third molar and like like he's kind of like reaching back and grabbing his cheek tooth and, and kind of like trying to pinch that. And he's like, no, it's not that one. Uh, he reaches under his tongue to see if he's, if any of the ones down there messed up, uh, and he's just kind of like, oh, oh, maybe it's this one. And then he he like digs into his tongue really hard, and he's oh like, yeah, God. I know you're in there. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. It's not that one. Tristan, uh, Tristan just looks over you, not especially judgmental of how gross that whole stunt is. Is something wrong? I woke up, my jaw's really hurting. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, 
you're telling me. I'm just checking my teeth. I don't really have any toothaches. It's just like my jaw itself. Ah. Hmm. That's a bit troubling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I can figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's okay. I mean, it's not that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More Fogu shakes. Tristan, uh, Tristan goes over to you, and you can tell he has intention to touch your face. Oh no, it's just like my nightmares. <laughs> Tristan, uh, Tristan places uh, places his palms on both sides of your face, and he's gonna make a heal check. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You appear to be growing extra teeth where teeth don't go. <laughs> no, that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, uh, you you see you see a glint in his eyes. He's like, hmm, I don't know what to do, but maybe if I just twist it, it'll fix it. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, nope, nope, that's not working. Ow. Darn, I thought it might be like a backache. Nope. If it was a backache, I'd have told you it was a backache, but it sure is just my jaw. The two are strangely connected, though, so maybe. He starts, like, running his shoulders around. Uh, as he starts, as, like, as like you could see his arm go up on the ball of, his, of one of his shoulders, you could see that there's actually a separate ball connected to that ball that's also going up and down. Oh my god, it gets worse! <laughs> <laughs> you... I pity the artist who's, like, keeping track of all of this, so at the end of the campaign they can draw what Morfogu really looks like. <laughs> he wears very heavy clothes, so, like, it doesn't always super stand out, but uh, lately, lately when he's felt comfortable enough around people to remove his cloak, he, he, like, you start seeing, like, like, the, the strange veins and the, the, the excess amounts of patches of, like, just very dense arm hair. Uh, it's, it's, it's gross. Oh my god. Yeah, um, while you were, while you were rolling your shoulder, Michael... Michael walked over to you and and flapped and cooed to get your attention. Uh, eggs, eggs, rats, eggs, eggs, rats. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tristan, uh, Tristan looks over to you. Michael says you're sick. What? You can understand him? We have a special connection. Huh. In uh. truth, I don't really know exactly what he's saying, but I get the gist. It's oh. like like surface thoughts, though oh. the deeper machinations are an enigma to even me. Mm, yeah. Uh, I wonder. How, I wonder if your jaw ever hurts, Michael. Yeah. He doesn't have a yeah. jaw, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I kind of like that stub at the bottom of your neck that doesn't have a jaw. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Ah, er, I'm sick, huh? Yeah, Eggs. probably that mold that I ate. Damn it! Eggs, oh, rats, eggs, that. eggs. Yeah, you ate the fucking egg. There was also that. Yeah, I guess there was that egg. There's the egg, the thousand-year-old mold. Damn it! I don't have time to sit there and consider every damn thing that I ate and which one of it's making me sick. <laughs> I, I, I'm usually, thankfully, immune to the suffering consequences of my actions. Ah! Ah, damn it. Um, Peter, uh, Peter turns away from the conversation he's forced to, forced to be the middleman in. Um, I don't mean to intrude too much. It sounds like if you're having jaw pain, you might have contracted tetanus. <laughs> tetanus? Hmm. Uh... No, I I think I uh, I got tetanus once when I was a baby. I think I'm immune. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tetanus can kill you dead. <laughs> no, no, we, we would get it in the pit all the time. You, you just you, 
one baby gets it, and then you put them around another baby that has it. It's like a big party that everybody Dude, has. that's pit tetanus. It's not the same. <laughs> Carly, it's last they have here. They have here. Like, to... Laszlo's just, like, leaning on his chair with, like, his elbow, like, leaned around. Like, the I just think they were, ha- they were having a casual conversation <laughs> talking about, oh, Cornelius was like, oh, I'll talk about the places I've been in. And they're having a nice conversation, and about halfway through, they've both started just... <laughs> they all just like stop and like, what on earth is he talking about? Oh yeah, you know when you're a baby and you get all itchy and you got all these these pot marks and stuff all over you. Tetanus. Yeah, I don't know yeah. enough about tetanus to dispute you, but that sounds wrong. <laughs> Laszlo, uh, Laszlo nods. I also don't know a lot about tetanus. I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna sit in the wrong category. Also, are you sure that was tetanus? I hope it, I hope it was. I'd hate to have tetanus too. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. I mean, if you're. <laughs> hey, there, Michaela would that, rouses. Would that wake me up? I wonder. I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna wake up about all this noisy tetanus nonsense. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Morfogu starts having an animated Girl, you were conversation. Sleeping in the carriage. <laughs> sleeping in the cart. I, I think she was behind her she was book up wall. Night. She was behind her book wall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so Cornelius her. and Morfogu didn't like notice to stop her. Like, yeah, you fell asleep in fell the asleep. cart. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. And you wake up thoroughly unrested, as is the norm for falling asleep in the cart. It sucks. She, All she of your dreams were hyper-realistic and yet entirely cheap. It doesn't make much sense. <laughs> she she wakes up and hears like, burr, 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 tetanus, and just like takes a book, doesn't even like look where she throws it, and she just kind of like lobs it out into the open. <laughs> we got a live one! She she peers over her wall, much like an attack on Titan. <laughs> what? What is well, all this noise? <laughs> um, Tristan uh, Tristan picks up the book and uh, looks over to you. Morfogu has tetanus. Uh, we don't know anything yet. Uh, like none of us are doctors, right, Michael? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela sinks down beneath her books, comes out. In her full garb after a few moments. All right, let's 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 really take a look. Hopefully, I can roll higher than uh, than anyone else did. Um, I, Tristan was the only one who really tried. <laughs> hopefully, I, I, I am not getting near a medical emergency. I have a negative to heal checks. So I ain't touching that shit. Twenty four. So. You um you tweak you tweak Morfogu's jaw a little bit and get the appropriate pain responses. He talks to you about his symptoms. Yeah, this sounds like tetanus. You have tetanus. Uh, how do I? Uh, as you're as you're like like touching Morfogu's face and he's shaking like a fucking leaf. He, he's just like, how do I not look you in the eyes when you touch me? Ah, it's hard. <laughs> It's easy. Look in the opposite direction. She says, having no bedside manners at all. <laughs> but then how are you going to check my jaw? All right. I'm Close your sorry. eyes. It's fine. Uh, all right. Um, gosh, what, what const, what's, I don't have any spells prepared for this kind of thing. Is this like a cure, cure disease? Tetanus! Yeah, you would need what? to cast, uh, as far as cures for tetanus go, magic is about your only option. <laughs> yeah, I know there's probably a cure this spell, but yeah, no, there does is not a, know. Michaela there would is know. A, uh, there is a remove disease spell. It's a third level cleric spell. It's, okay. Yep. I can do those, but I didn't prepare it, so it'd have to be until tomorrow. It'll have right. to be tomorrow. Well, so All right. Fixing your tetanus is so. a tomorrow problem. <laughs> yeah. So, good news and bad news. I cannot prepare any spells until around 9 o'clock tonight. Once that happens, I can uh, get rid of this for you. Oh. The bad news is you have to wait until then. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just a sore jaw. I mean... It, it feels like I got in a fight yesterday. That's that's essentially the the long and short of it. And like one of them maybe like got me real good in the mouth. I mean, we super did get into a lot of fights yesterday. So yeah, I'm pretty sore. I'm pretty sore as it is. But uh, uh, tetanus, huh? God, where'd that come from? 
wonder if it was the mold. I'm sure it's a mystery we'll never be able to solve, Morfogo. <laughs> it was I'm probably probably when you got stabbed by a rusty piece of metal. I get stabbed with rusty pieces of metal all the time. Ugh. No, most of the metal that stabs us is quite clean. My immune system better not be finally crapping out on me like I always knew it would. And then I just die. Ugh. Oh, he really is that fucking Wario, like, biological chart where it's explaining all of the things about his body. <laughs> he does not get cavities because the bacteria in his mouth eat the cavities. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All I can suggest is take it harder. easy. Try not to speak so much, she says, like like yeah. putting her hand under his jaw and closing his mouth. Try not to move your jaw too much and just relax. Good. <laughs> she she just comes over and sits in this chair. It's not worth climbing back over the book wall. <laughs> My hand's soft. Well, that chair was something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Laszlo, uh, Laszlo turns back. Yeah. How, how strange. How, how mundane, yet how strange. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that a lot traveling with everybody here. How mundane, but strange. Yeah. Yeah, you and Laszlo go back to your, go back to your perfectly nice conversation. Perfectly uninteresting, but nice conversation. Meanwhile, outside of the car to... Yeah! You guys okay. ran over a tree, oh no! It's, <laughs> it's a, a bush, shrub. I know. I know. I'm just Fuck kidding. the shrubs. <laughs> Fuck the shrubs. Yep. The, the cart is, is clickety-clacky, tippity-tapping along. Okay, clack oh, down the shit. tracks and sloths and lots of cars. Lots of trains. Damn. Okay, so you 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 definitely put salt in that honey, right? And like yeah. you tr you try different things to, to give it a little oomph. No, I I I tried I tried a few things. The problem is I ran out of pots. Like I I still got to deal with that, and all I got stuck to the bottom. It was a complete and total. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need a different pot. Uh, okay. Um, do you do you have one of those pots? Because like, if heat was a problem, maybe if I like super chill the pot, we can kind of scrape it off easier because it'll be ice. No, no, it's it's solidified. Well, I mean, maybe actually. You know what? Like, like screw it. <laughs> yeah, Songbird. Uh, Songbird reaches around to like the side of the cart where uh, where she's like hung up some of the pots and cookery, and just uh, and just passes it over to you. Yeah, sure. Like, give it a try. Why not? I mean, the worst thing that'll happen is I ruin it instead of you. Okay, so, uh, Varys will... <laughs> you see her arm turn into solid ice as she point-blank snowballs the pot. <laughs> <laughs> An excellent use of resources. That's 5d6 unless I roll a crit. Oh my god. I don't think you're gonna miss it, but you might. Go <gasps> oh, oh, holy <laughs> shit! You Man, almost crit the pot. Right, you, miss. you had it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five d six. It rolled scary. off the twenty. It was on the <laughs> twenty and then rolled off. It was like oh. <laughs> Jesus. You you blast it with uh, with a ball of ice, and uh, it it does shatter, but like a lot of it, a lot of the a lot of the rust, the rust honey is still gacked inside there. Okay, so now that that's all frozen, maybe I could scrape that off instead. Uh, yeah, maybe that's gonna make that's gonna make a truly awful sound, but like like necessity, right? <laughs> Well, I mean, let's let's give it a try. Let's see how bad it is. If it's really bad, then we'll we'll maybe we'll use it as a means to like scare off predators and monsters and things of this sort. Okay, here I go. Uh, there is, I think she has like, yeah, she's got a little little sh uh, master short sword, so she's just gonna use that to start like prying at. Yeah, sure. Someone's finely crafted short sword is good enough for you to poke at the rust honey that's gacked inside this pot. Varys yeah. is dumb. <laughs> so you make quite the racket. It's not like nails on a chalkboard, though. It 
it's not good. This sound has a bad texture to it. It's very, it's very gritty, and occasionally there's a donk because you just slip and bang off the side of the pot. But with enough, with enough brute force, you are making, you're definitely making headway on that. Oh, this pot is almost salvageable. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's like, it's like better. I think. Maybe. Maybe the problem is, like, you gotta get, like, an ultra non-stick pot. Because, like, that was a non-stick pot. That one's fucked now. But... Oh. But mm. maybe. But, she she seems to be thinking, like, real hard about it. I gotta, I gotta make this work. Wait, we have it. What, what if you butter the pan first? That... That might, that might do it. Cause it's kind of like when you make cupcakes and things. Well, not cupcakes, they they're, they're, they come in a cup. Uh, but like if you do <laughs> like a regular cake, um, sometimes it gets a little stuck on the sides. She uh, she nods. Yeah, yeah, that could do it. She uh, she looks she looks back to the road ahead. Looks back to you. You seem pretty weird for an adventurer. Me? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's pretty abnormal to receive baking tips from one. Well, I mean, you're an adventurer, right? Nope. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was very confident in my rebuttal, and now I am not. <laughs> yeah, just a just a merchant now. Now, oh, oh yeah. were you something before. She uh, she like glances over at you. There is an entire arc of my life before this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> she kind of like puts a finger on your uh, on your shoulder and like pushes you away a little bit. Well, it's it's not very interesting, I assure you. And I'd hardly call most of it adventuring. I learned I learned a lot. Was on the road a lot, killed a fair amount of monsters. That's why I still have this cooking passion left over from that. But most of it, most of it, I've got no pride in. So. Oh. Well, I mean, it seems kind of strange that you say it's this big arc, and then like it just doesn't have much value to you. She uh, she shrugs. Not everything in your life matters. Well, that's sad. I mean, like, okay, well, um, what was the most interesting thing you got to cook? Hmm. So yeah, she she leans her head back for a second. There was there was one time there was one time when I was when I was trekking it through the desert. And I managed to, um, I managed to encounter, at the same time, a giant scorpion, and not not a griffin. It's it's one of those one of those griffin adjacent things that's sort of escaping me now. Oh, uh, there's a hippogriff, a sphinx, a uh, griff off, uh, <laughs> <laughs> cockatrice. That's the one. That's the bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, a cockatrice and a giant scorpion. I managed to managed to coerce them into battling it out with each other. Took out the winner. And that that was a pretty pretty unique challenge cuz those flavor profiles don't go to each go with each other very well at all. You wouldn't you wouldn't guess it, but like scorpion meat, weirdly sweet. Oh. Man, I assume that um the other one I would assume tasted like beef. Yeah, it was it was beef with some spice to it. Very wow. odd. It's a chicken. It's cockatrice is a chicken. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. You stupid. I'm not. Varus is dumb. I'm not stupid. You leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't didn't taste like proper fowl. That's for sure. There was something foul about that foul. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he. Cornelius's ears twitch. <laughs> yeah, you, um... 
you continue you continue this uh, this fairly mundane conversation until <gasps> something happens. If it's piss it's a... the rat. <laughs> Where? It's Dogen. It's not Dogen. This is not <laughs> Dogen's theme. It has never I'm been Dogen's so theme. Sorry, Lamp, but you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Lamp, you're just wrong, but continue. Chat, Chat is this Dogen's theme? Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. You, you see around you, you see around you, the grass starts moving in a very strange way. It, it was uh, pretty, it was standing pretty still, but it, and like a lot of like chunks of rock and dirt begin like floating upwards. Uh, We're being abducted. Uh, <laughs> Songbird, Songbird looks around in an attempt to try and, uh, to try and get a proper grasp on the situation. Uh, but no such proper grasp happens. This is, this is confusing. Ah, uh, god damn it. Are we under attack again? I swear to God, we're under attack again. Uh, can I do a perception check? Yeah, sure. Find, eliminate, kill, nothing. Look up. <laughs> so you look around and you do look up and you don't see like a spaceship or anything. Nothing dumb like that. Yes, <laughs> race <laughs> <Lamp> sled. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't see a space sled. Um. As a matter of fact, you you look up and you see the clouds suddenly jump forward a lot, oh. as you are somewhere else. Oh, oh, what? what? Uh, you were abducted by did we aliens. Hit a weed spell? <laughs> the the cart touches down with like kind of a kind of a weird thunk, and uh, and Songbird looks around like, huh? Huh? What? Ah! Uh, uh, she squints. Did we just get teleported? <laughs> Why? I don't understand. Did we um, feel anything inside? Yeah, the did tent? we feel it inside the cart? Yeah, the no, cart. you felt uh, you felt the cart jostle a little bit, but it didn't feel like an abnormal jostle. Oh, oh, so we're still just chilling, okay? Yeah, no, you're yep. still just chilling. You haven't been alerted to uh, not for much longer <laughs> to the uh, to the situation here. And as you look around, Varys. But, uh, well, I, I accidentally uh, selected everyone who was on the GM layer out of here. Get us out! And Michael, get him out! Get him out too! <laughs> Michael will kill everyone. Get him out of here. You see, you see around this fortress, there's a bunch of rats! Uh, rats don't know how to okay. use duck magic. They, they are dancing in a very jaunty fashion. They are thrilled that your cart showed up. They begin chittering and squeaking in their rat folk tongue, which you do not properly understand. Uh, Al? Uh, Al, um, Al tunes in real quick. If I can actually successfully navigate to him. Yes? Hey. Uh, Is there something wrong? Did you not just notice I'm not where I am? Or was? Were? Hello. Al, uh, Al thinks about that. Mm. It seemed like you jumped a little bit, not especially far. What? Not far? I am a f fortress rats. <laughs> <laughs> fortress. Ra All right, hold on. I'll 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 be there as soon as I can. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm very confused. <laughs> so you you look around and you take a you take a good listen to the rant the rat chanting, and. And eventually, eventually it's cut by a sound that sounds like a big magical whoosh with a chabang and a boom as someone appears. Stink! Stink! Oh, it's the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz. Is that just a homeless person? <laughs> King of the rats. She, uh, she holds up, she holds up a hand. Hey there. Hello. Um... I'm very sorry that we parked in your castle. Ah, <laughs> uh, no oh, man, you don't have to be sorry about that. I did that. You do have something to be sorry about, though. But don't worry, we're gonna clear that up. Okay. She uh, she like gestures towards the chairs that are taken by rats. Please have a 
and then she like looks over, sees that there are rats there, lightly waves her hand, and there's like a gust of wind that blows the rats out of their chairs. <laughs> they they scramble and are not too bothered by it. Please have a seat. Songbird, I'm really scared. <laughs> yeah, Songbird's like, I I'm also scared. I don't know. I don't know how much you know about magic, but teleportation, that does not come light. Teleporting other people without their consent also does not come light. I figured as much. Um, okay. Let's just, let's just play along. Varys, slow, like, slowly pops down, and she, like, has her hands up in the air and is, like, starting to sniffle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you don't have to do that. Come on. Yeah. Would we notice that we've stopped? <laughs> like, yeah. I feel like someone would have said something like, "Hey guys, we got in trouble." Anything <laughs> in a bed? <laughs> we're in a no, I feel like it, it's basically a, one. We're in a pocket dimension. Two, it's they're in a hostage situation. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Like, I don't think they could pop their head in the back and be like, "Bros, we got a situation." <laughs> Maybe it's better that we're secret. Yeah. Aww. Songbird, Songbird, uh, Songbird sits down, looks around, like, pretty concerned, and, like, glances, glances over, glances over, uh, this way, and you, and you get an eyeful of it as well, Varys, you were not teleported, like, more than a few oh. hundred feet. Oh, my god, it was just right over there, huh. It was, it was literally just over yonder, which makes the use of big magic, which is just the, you know, colloquialism for things like teleportation and scrying, it sort of makes that seem extremely wasteful. <laughs> this uh, this woman uh, this woman takes uh, takes a bottle out of the box next to her. She already had a bottle in her hand, and she was sipping from it quite happily. But she wanted another one, I guess. Please feel free to help yourself. Oh, I I'm fine, thank you. Ah, right, man, more for me. So. You, you've got, you've got a, you've got a, her, her eyes like droop a little bit, then they focus back in. You've got a little problem, but don't worry. These are diplomatic talks. We can, we can fix the hell out of it. Okay. Yeah. So. I'll, I'll give you I'll give you the short I'll give you the short and the long of it. You see my 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 boys, my my friend, my oh my she she her eyes like half lit again, focus back in. Shit, man. It's going to be real fucking hard to have this conversation if we don't introduce ourselves. What's what's your name? I'm Varys. Hi, hi Varys. Songbird uh Songbird squints. I'm uh, I'm Songbird. Cool, awesome. It's a it's a pleasure. Um. Uh. Um. Yeah. Hi. I. Uh, she. Uh, her eyelids kind of close a little bit again. Songbird. Uh, you hear her whisper under under her breath. She's fucking wasted, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so hi. Um. I've got, I've got a, I've got a lot of names, a lot of names that people call me, um, like, uh, like some people, some people call me the queen of the rats, the rats do that, and they're, they're pretty, they're pretty stoked, I like that one, uh, but before, before that, the people called me the witch on the cliff, uh, that was, that was weird, I'm not a, I'm not a witch, and, like, my time on cliffs was very short, I avoid them due to my habits of choice, uh, some people, some people like to call me uh, drunk, deadbeat asshole. Uh, that they're pretty close, honestly. Um, but uh, but before before all those things, they called me the sorceress of the somber stones. No! <laughs> but just because just because we're friends, <laughs> you can call me skank. <laughs> uh! It's just um, you all know something I don't. <laughs> so uh, I think I immediately understand what the problem is, and I would like to explain that. 
All right. Explain away. Let's hear it. <sighs> okay. So first and foremost, very sorry about, um, she gestures, your friends. Uh-huh. Um, um, this is going to be the part where you don't believe me. But it is true, I swear. We found a big metal thing, and a big goop came out, and brainwashed them to attack us with a bird who shot us with a magic wand. Oh, oh yeah, no, don't, don't worry. They already kept me very informed, and as stupid as that story sounded on initial listen. Subsequent listens, it got very funny, so I'm willing to humor it. But... Like even if even if it is like the like the truth like the real truth like the double like the double triple good fudge truth her eyes like half lit again like responsibly like I gotta do something about that right like yeah you had a you had a good reason to and I don't I don't blame you and like just between you and me these rats are fairly replaceable like I'm not super gonna miss them but. I have a duty to protect my subjects, you know? Okay. So, here's the- her eyes- her eyes droop again. Wait. Wait, are there more of you? Are there more of you in the box? There, there's- there's indeed. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, well, well, shoot, why don't we invite them too? <laughs> okay. Varys, uh, kind of looks at the cart and then with the beat is like, Hey guys! Uh, please come out! Um, there's many rat friends, and we've oh. met someone named, she looks over, Skank. She, she introduced herself like that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is this a we come Weapons out of the cart with our hands? <laughs> is this a we come out of the cart with our hands? Uh, like, like, how are we getting this, out? Are weapons ready? How are we? Th this is a hands up. This is a hands up. Okay, hate that. Just, Let's go. Yeah, it's a hands up, not just because we don't want to cause a problem, but there's going to be a few questions. <laughs> All right. I've got some questions. Yeah, is this really it. tetanus? <laughs> yeah, you guys, uh, you guys pour out. Whoop. Ah, what the hell? Wait. Uh, so this how high not... up is this thing? Is this a road or is this a, a keep? Uh, this is a this is a keep. So we're like on. Are we, are we on top of a keep? Like um, high in the like... air? Or is this like the ground level? You are not. No, high I in think the air. it's it a... is no. firmly okay. on the ground. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to check. Yeah, Whoa. no, nothing supernatural. Again, looking over, it's perfectly mundane. Not that you were looking at the road, but, like, the road is not far away. What the hell? Uh... Hey! How's it going, folks? Oh, shit. Uh... Um... Hello! This is not the road we were on, but I'll take it as a hopefully pleasant detour. Ah, I'm I'm trying to make it that man. So let's let's take this moment to Morfogu, Morfogu, and Cornelius. Yeah, uh, you guys can both roll character level. Poggers. Oh. <laughs> it's a disease. It's a fucking disease. That's is is it five or six? It's five. 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 Ooh, We're five right, right now. Nice roll, corn. Yeah. Nice All rules, right. gamers. All right, both of you, both of you will be able to clue into something when relevant. Okay. Oh, we, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. This this woman waves you all down. Come on, don't be don't be shy. Like nothing nothing's bad. I don't I don't bite. Oh, have a drink. Have forty. I I got plenty. You know, I remember a pretty good hangover recipe. If you need one. Holy fuck, do I? Yeah, I got a. It's from a great guy. It'll. It's great. Like, he's remembering. Maybe if I give her the handover recipe, we'll get out of whatever the fuck we're in right now, but we'll see how this goes. I probably shouldn't drink after you. I have tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Sorry to hear it. Be sure to notify your next again. 
<laughs> so Dex oh, is yeah. Up. Uh, hey, Varus, I have tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> He got stabbed by some rust, so that's why. And he's supposed to be keeping his mouth shut. <laughs> Unless he wants to make it worse. Alright, so I'll, I'll, like, speed through my introduction again. Hi. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a real important lady, at least I used to be. Uh, some people think I'm a witch, but that's wrong. Actually, I'm blasted. You used to be the sorceress of the somber stones. Now I'm skank. Please to me. Are. That sounds important. Is there a role to know more about the the somber songs? Just what was her name? Uh, she's the sorceress of the somber stones, and there's no role for you, but Morfogo and Cornelius. Oh, that that was for them. Okay, that was, yes, us. That, was that was for them. Gotcha. So there is an arcane phenomena. No one really has a proper explanation for it, and no one gives it too much thought. Where there are occasionally women who are born with inherently greater than anyone else's magical powers and they're they're indoctrinated into a place called the sorceress circle which has it's sort of shrouded in a lot of mystery but whatever goes on there it seems to it seems to leave whoever goes there in a pretty odd state it's also worth noting that uh that sorceress is the proper term for these women a female source like if you're just like a normal mage who is a sorcerer, even if you're a girl, you're still a sorcerer. You had to be like this to be a sorceress. Sorceress anyway. okay. is a title. It is a it is a proper title. Uh, so yeah, you can tell just offhandedly that she is exceptionally powerful, at least vaguely important, and definitely blasted. Oh man, I always wanted to be a sorceress. <laughs> 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 she uh, she pops the bottle out of her mouth. Don't it's uh it's a sack of crap. I don't recommend it. Uh, like you gotta you gotta spend all your days just pissing away with uh she uh, she blinks. Oh rats, I guess. Oh, rats are kinda cool. You know what what am I complaining about? Or I did that anyway. <laughs> See? You're like halfway there, buddy. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, she takes uh, she takes another swig. So like I was telling your friend there, uh, Miss uh, Miss uh, Miss uh, Miss uh, your friend there, we've got a we got a small a small issue. Is a couple of my a couple of my rats wound up dead, you know, and like we gotta we gotta avenge them so that their morale does not drop. You look around and all of the rats are just occupying themselves with stupid bullshit. Mm, they don't seem too upset about it. No, they're they're dying inside. Trust me. So, <laughs> I I didn't we spare a good number of them? <laughs> you, when we could you have did, killed them. Which is which is why which is why their your 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 punishment here it's pretty it's pretty light and like it can be it can be even lighter if you hand over that hangover rest because like that'll be sweet. But he gives a thumbs up and starts writing it down. <laughs> but like. Even a even a even one single rat life is worth is worth so much to me. And like I think you took two of them. I I think I think that's what I gathered from all their from all their chitter chatter rat speak. I'm not super fluent in it. I'll level it. Yeah. Psst. Hey, Michaela. Yes, Morfogo. Do you think that your cure disease spell can cure alcoholism in a broken home? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anything can fix that, Morfogo. Yeah, it was worth asking. All right. Uh, okay. So, what? Uh, what? What is this uh, teensy tiny little thing that? Ah, I'm sorry, my jaw is killing me. Can somebody else do this? Yeah, of course. So, what's our our punishment made a little lighter by d does a little flourish at the end? Handy dandy recipe. Knew this was coming handy. Slips it across the table. Thanks, man. So yeah, she pockets that. So you've been you've been upgraded from a from a difficult task to to the much the much less severe simple request. 
that okay. that seems like a pretty good upgrade. I'm excited to hear you guys what our punishment such, is. You guys got such a fucking bargain. So here's here's what I need from you. All right, in the in the woods here, and it's not even it's not even out of the way. It's so convenient for you. If you just keep going down the path you were going down, you'll 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 cross paths with it so fast, so easy. Down that way, there's a there's a statue, and I think it is fucking hideous. And I think the world would be a better place if you cut its head off. Uh, okay. And because you've given me this, I don't even need you to bring it to me. You can just do it and fucking leave. Um, I, oh, that seems like vandalism. No, it's not vandal. Dude, nobody, no people have lived out here for ages except she looks around at like uh who looks around in the fortress except for whoever was crashing here before us they put up they put up some rocks and some runes of of protection which is cool the rats the rats love feeling safe uh it's so, like someone was here recently but like yeah that's kind of a moot fucking point anyway that statue though that that statue can get bent uh no one's gonna no one's gonna miss it no one maintains it it's not anyone's property. It's just here in the fucking woods. Why haven't you gotten rid of it or ordered your rats to do that yet? <laughs> she, uh, she looks around at the rats, again, all occupying themselves with stupid bullshit. Things like games of dice and jacks and spinning tops. I don't know if I've got a man for the job. You know those those two that were felled were my were my best men, my best my best boys. Sense dad. motive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that for a goddamn second. <laughs> Sense motive entirely unrequired. All of these rats look equally incompetent. But you feel like even if you call her on that, what's she gonna do? Change her story and tell the truth? No, like, probably tell, not. Teleport us again? <laughs> like we're already here. <laughs> uh, like it'll be it'll be a cinch for ya I don't doubt that it'll be easy I just want to know like what 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 the reason is you, you say it's a uh, an eyesore but like we've run into fairies recently so you can understand our our uh hesitation to randomly vandalize wooded ruins I am, I am so sorry that you've had bad encounters with fairies. I'm sure they spilled your drink or something, and you you've probably got a lot of trauma about that. I apologize. Uh, her eyes like half lid for a bit. It you know it's 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 possible. It's entirely within the realm of possibility. She swings her arm wide and knocks over like four bottles. That maybe, maybe there's a fairy around, but like, who cares, man? Uh, we do. Why? Because we don't want to bother any of them while we're in these woods. It won't be, it won't be, but then just, then just do, you don't even have to stop your cart. Just like, it's like hold out a long stick <laughs> and just swing at it. And it'll be, it'll be bing, bang, pop, easy peasy. Can we confer amongst ourselves for a moment? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Right. Why the fuck not? Let's get a let's get a little group huddle, like over here. Hey, rats. Uh, sorry, can you guys play uh, dice somewhere else? And uh, it, it they they scoot away without without too much uh, without too much prodding. We have the beads to let us talk telepathically, right? Can we just like do that? You can. Like, like yeah, so they but, just can't but, hear us. Yeah, but at she all. Does, yeah, but she doesn't know that. And I actually want to uh investigate uh the magical runes on this. Yeah, sure. That us uh, knowledge arcana? Sure. Okay. Uh, looks over looks over your shoulder interestedly. Like, ooh. I still haven't fixed my macros. Varus, get over here. Okay. She can sit. <laughs> Well, it's not a group huddle. If she's all the way over there. <laughs> all right, Morfogu. <laughs> Bring the chart with you. You you look at these runes and like, and like you can tell like ah, 
All right, these these aren't divine. Or these aren't arcane, rather. These are divine. More a specific subset of divine. These are these are some druidic runes. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, mm. there seems to be some truth in uh, in Skank's claims that that some people were coming through here. If they were most likely druids, why they were doing that is not evident. But there is definitely evidence that that's what they were. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, what do we think about this, guys? I mean, part, oh. like, I don't know if you guys know how powerful sorceresses are. They don't, they don't mess around. So, saying so no, like, 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 skank who's, like, distinctly messing around. I mean, like, mess around in the, in the arcane power sense, like, in the... So taking like her the rats on are, would be like uh, the rats would be easy, but her. Mm, yeah, I, I don't. I don't, I don't know. know how much being drunk in peds are. Oh, I, oh, I have I'm, no scale of it. Oh, I'm certainly not suggesting that we fight her. I'm just suggesting that maybe we just you know ride on down the road and go. I I don't know if that's a great idea either, though, just because, like. She could probably just do that again, and I don't think she'd be up for a conversation that time. Do what? Just, just. Oh leave. yeah, you you guys didn't you guys didn't catch it? She teleported our wagon over here. A grand total of like, gonna say a hundred and eighty feet. A uh, hundred and eighty feet of it, a whole unwilling cabin of people, like, and an extra dimensional space. Hmm. Yeah. No, that's. That's that's messed up. <laughs> that's messed up that that happened. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, these, I, these... I figure we can't. We don't really know much about the statue if it's like of a god or like a. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to like smash up somebody's god. Somebody built that statue for a reason, and I'm just saying it. Breaking, going around busting up statues is a pretty good way to end up cursed. Yeah, I doubt she wants it destroyed just for fun. She kind of looks back at her. Maybe. I mean, if she want, if she really wanted it destroyed that bad, she could go down there and do it herself. Having that... like a first band of adventurers that come along do it just because she can. I don't know. Seems like she's trying to avoid getting cursed. <clears throat> what if she can't? Oh. Mm. You know what? Hmm. Ravi points up, like, very, very, like, subtly points up to this room here. Maybe she's Me. trapped. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Maybe, maybe whatever. So these are, these are druid stones. Uh, maybe, maybe they've been, maybe they were trying to trap her. And, like, they've put all this alcohol here as a bait. I don't know. Ugh. Maybe ah. she used these runes to teleport us here? We ended up she kind of looks out around we sort of ended up in the middle of them. Yeah, and I don't true. think teleportation is really in the druid spectrum, but I don't know enough about druids to say that, so... Yeah, druids I don't, kind I of don't really either. keep to themselves. You can say as far as your understanding of arcane teleportation goes, a magic circle is something that's inarguably required for most forms of teleportation. So, yeah, so, so what, I'm, what I'm getting at is the idea of, I think that these ruins are trapping her in here, or something is preventing her from leaving here, otherwise, mm -hmm. why wouldn't she have just stumbled out into the road like, hey, stop your cart, fuckers, like... Why did she bring us here specifically, and why can't she mm -hmm. do it herself? Mm -hmm. Or it could be much simpler, and she's just ass drunk and doesn't want to do it herself. Yeah, she could just <laughs> totally be fucking with us. That's that's always on the table. Mm. I mean, I don't I don't like this situation. I don't really like being held hostage and being told what to do. But so out of character, because Varys mm. can't suggest this, we have Dogen. Yeah, not well, everyone came out Dogen, of the cart, did they? Ha, have Dogen on get cursed. Have Dogen do it. 
Yeah. If There's he breaks the... it with the demon hammer, what could happen? <laughs> I don't know. Is the devil going to get cursed? Probably not. Well, at least it wouldn't be one of us, hopefully. <laughs> Just tell him the government made the statue. And it'll be like, what? The government? <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. Which, who would, who would in character suggest oh, oh, that? Oh, oh, definitely Morfogu. <laughs> All right. Like, well, what if, what if we Sweet. just let, what if we just let Dogen smash it? All right. <laughs> Kayla yeah. can't think of an All argument right, against like, that. All right, well. All right. Well, wait, hold on. Dogen's, is Dogen, uh, is Dogen one of our prophecy people? No. Oh, yeah, let's let Dogen do it. Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah, let's <laughs> Yeah, let's just get Dogen. Sacrifice yeah. Dogen. Sacrifice hey, hey. Dogen. Yeah, God okay. Damn it. okay. All right, all right. Are we, are we all happy with that? Okay. Mm. Michaela kind of shrugs indifferently, like, eh, nah. Songbird, uh, Songbird shrugs. I can't happened. say that I'm willing to make an argument to defend Dogen. I yeah. mean, I mean, we can decide further on after we see the thing. Check it out. Oh yeah, that's that's true. We should probably take a look at it if we're gonna, I don't know, have Dogen get cursed over it. I mean, I'm I'm okay. Like with it that. might not I'm even be cursed. It cursed. might just be an ugly statue. That's true. Oh god, let's hope it doesn't give him power. God, Wait a minute. Wait what if a it's minute. A statue of Gaudius. <laughs> oh, then I'll have to smash it. <laughs> I won't said... be able to stop myself. It'll be she... on site. She said one of us had to smash it, right? Uh, what if there's some right, us, right? She could use some sort of trickery. You know what I mean? I mean, I it wasn't one of us. She gestures to the group. Maybe we should get Dogen out here. If I was a shitty drunk in the woods, that's how I would do it. I mean, but they're with us. I, I don't know. We maybe I, we should let. I might be overthinking this. We should like pull Dogen out and. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Just a token. Everyone else stay inside. Hey, hey, uh, hey, skank. Yo, that's my name, and I'm so glad to hear it. What's up? Yeah, uh, I was wondering, you just want the head of the thing smashed, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter who does it? I don't fucking care. All right, cool. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Just turn yeah. the <laughs> oh, there you have it. All I right, mean, well, let's I, again, I, th go. I think let's go with this plan for now. And if the stat, if we walk up to the statue and see, oh, that will unleash the something end of the world or something. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out from there. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Oh, uh, all right. We tentatively agree with what you are asking. The life of two rats seems entirely worth the busted head of a single statue. Ah, awesome. I'm glad you agreed, uh, because uh, I'll be honest, I did not feel like dealing with it if you didn't. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to get out of your cozy little rat fortress and walk down the road and do it. I, I don't blame yeah, you. Yeah, no, it's, it's a lot, and I fucking love it here. Mm -hmm. She can teleport. <laughs> We're just, we're just, we're just agreeing with her. No, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> this bitch. This bitch. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Well, we should probably get on the old dusty trail then and uh, get yeah, to I mean, like, you don't Like, you don't need to rush. Like, it's not going anywhere. Like, we could hang and have a drink or two just like, as long as you do it, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I could just get in. <laughs> okay. Well, um, again, sorry for um, us kind of bumbling things. Uh, thank you for your time and understanding. Yeah, cheers. it's no, it's not. Yeah, cheers, cheers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I unlocked the word she needed to hear. <laughs> Power word, cheers. Okay. <laughs> Songbird, uh, songbird rears, uh, rears cinnamon. Well, that's, uh, that's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
got to awkwardly turn around to leave. You can't go out that way. There's rocks. Yeah, you guys, you guys <laughs> awkwardly turn around. Yeah, she ain't gonna teleport <laughs> us back. Fucking no. God no. She sits there and watches us. <laughs> we have every, to like ten every point second turn of out you of there. weirdly turning this this card around. She is watching. <laughs> occasionally throws like a peanut shell. Like she is. She is entirely, entirely unhelpful. Great. So you guys get back on the road and you and you go and you continue down. Not even, not even twenty minutes. And oh, and you come across you come across a nice forest clearing, which has a statue in it. Oh, that's a pretty statue. Statue's got an icon. Everybody, watch out! We need Dogen out here, right? Are we gonna are we? Uh, we wait, let, let's let's check it out, and then yeah. we'll bring Take out Ta- then we'll bring out the force of Dogen. Yeah, I'll um, I'll just I'll just hang tight here. I'll be back up if you need me. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Okay. What? What's going? On? Uh, like, just casual perception checks all around, just to just to make sure there's not like fucking goblins hanging out, getting ready sure. to thwack us. Goblin kill. Uh, Goblin hurt. I might have an extra plus one to it. Let me let me double check. That's pretty good either way. Yeah, either way. You uh you look around and you don't see any goblins lying in wait. Although although given uh given the current geography, goblins aren't really a concern here in the game. They don't live up here. Rats, rats, on the other hand, do live up here, but you don't see any weird trappings by them either. It doesn't look like there's any ambushes or anything. It seems it seems nice here. Okay. All right. Well, let's get a good look at this thing. Hello. <laughs> There's okay. the statue. <laughs> How you Think doing? Think hearts is co- oh. What it talks? Like really? <laughs> oh fuck! Never mind. Yeah, Cornelius was gonna make a wise crack. Like, uh, I, I don't think you can get blood from a stone with this one. Uh. uh hmm. All right. Oh boy. Well, you're an awful big lot. Are you here to appreciate the river? Uh oh. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, yeah. Uh, ah. I mean, I mean, we're just passing through. We we were hoping to get by, but that bridge probably won't support our whole cart. Oh goodness, no. But it's 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 just a little jaunt. You can get right over it. Yeah, yeah. It it's makes just like he's sizing up the river, but in his head he's like, what the fuck do we do now? Have you ever seen a more scenic locale, I tell you? So, Cornelius, <laughs> you may roll character level. Me? Awesome. Yeah. If no one can think of anything spectacular or specific, Michaela's is just going to be super blunt and be like, do you know someone named Skank? <laughs> All right, so Cornelius, you're sizing this thing up, and, like, you're a little bit off, but, like, oh, it's greeted us. But, like, you're you're thinking on it, you're looking at it, and when it speaks to you, it's not the... Its mouth doesn't move. This thing is not animate. Mm-hmm. It's just speaking to you. And, like, you, you get a... And it's not, like, it. moving either, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's perfectly it's perfectly still. It, to an ordinary person, it's probably just a statue. And you're you're thinking, you're thinking back, you're grinding through your man... You, you're, ugh, you're grinding through your brain, and you think, this might be a graven. A, a graven brain. is a odd little fake creature. If you were to try and draw a parallel to a more commonly seen one it's kind of like a dryad but instead of being bound to a tree this thing is a statue it uh, it has a similar it has a similar niche and it has a fairly similar temperament except where dryads are considered to be you know seely the nice fae these guys are considered to be unseely oh. they are evil shithead bastards <laughs> Oh, really? This an asshole? really? Yeah, this thing is an absolute motherfucker. But from what you remember of the stories, it's a motherfucker when it's not in statue form. These things have to find a nice scenic locale to calm themselves down, and once they actually manage to do that, they become significantly more palatable. However, 
they are still not the kindest of spirits, although they might be might be casually nice to people who are passing by. If you sit around and talk to it for too long, it will start getting upset with you. And it has because we're fun... ruining its scenic view. You're and shit. ruining the scenic locale, yeah. and it has a it has a fun fey trickery thing that it can do, where it this thing's primary skill set is talking at you to try and get you to go away. It can passively just sort of dig through my people's minds and insult them on the things they really don't want to be insulted about. Damn. Wow. So Cornelius is like making like he's looking at the scenic view and like like the car and judging you know normal things you do. But he taps in with the bead like, guys, we're dealing with another fay. What? Okay. That uh, that statue's a fay, and uh, it definitely doesn't want us to stay around here. But should I should I you, call Dogen? I I mean we could. I mean, <laughs> here's a weird question: How heavy are these things? Um, these things. Th- this is they're a made. Of, it's a statue, so it's about as heavy as old. a statue would be. Well, how big is the statue? It's like bigger than us, right? Yeah, it's it's bigger than you are, but not so big to be considered a large creature. It's definitely larger than the average person. So okay. like, yeah, it's, Cornelius it's... gives the cliff notes of what you all heard Lamp say to all of you telepathically. It is worth noting that like these things, all they have a bad attitude, and they are also dangerous if they do want to fight you. But if they would rather just insult you for a while, then that's generally fine. Although even that is dangerous because they can do that to a point where you lose your will to live. They are not nice. Another thing to consider is what Lamp had said about once they find a statue. So I think if we take the head off this thing, it's going to come out. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I should I should clarify. It's not that it finds a statue. It's that it is a statue. So what it what it boils down to is that when this thing's in its normal form, in its most evil shithead bastard forms, it's like a little wisp. But once it finds a nice spot, it settles down and grows a statue. Ah. Oh. So what I was thinking is Al could swoop in, pick this fucko up, and just hurl it in the woods somewhere, and we could just keep going. Is Al big enough to carry this thing adequately that's why i was asking how heavy it is. I, he might not be able to al is strong but he's not like freakishly strong um he probably wouldn't be able to like just drive by upend this entire thing he would definitely be able to knock its block off though yeah i mean if I mean, wanted, uh, like, it, like uh, Cornelius puts it all on the table and is like, it is an evil creature, and if uh, random people decide to sit out here with it for too long, it might just, might start attacking them. So, I'm not against going at it, but it's, this is more than a simple request. Well, if anyone is, you know, qualified to smash stone, um, uh, Dogen, excuse right? Excuse me. Um, just, just wondering, but when are you mouth breathers going to stop taking in all the good air? I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna go get Dogen. Hey, hey, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, when are you gonna stop taking up all the space on that pedestal? <laughs> oh, this is my pedestal. See, I see. I found this spot, and it was an absolutely gorgeous spot until you showed up with your biohazard face and ruined everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, that Takes song. emotional damage. <laughs> yeah. But, but he tells himself that every yeah. day, so like... Saw that one coming. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. This is like the Olympics. I've been training for this my whole life. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ah. whoa, whoa. You got fucking moss in your hair. Ah, oh, damn it, so do I. No shit, those eyes work. Uh, Amazing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can see your poorly constructed calves. <laughs> <laughs> 
poorly constructed. You know, at least I had an idea of what I was going for. Looks like, looks like whoever made you just lost track of it midway through and said, ah, oh, it's okay if I leave it in the sun. Cornelius and then the bees found it, and it was just a whole horrible situation, you know? Cornelius crosses his arm like, damn, like, damn. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie is looking down at Morfogu like, dude, you are letting this happen. Morfogu, <laughs> <laughs> like, down on one knee is like, and, like <laughs> grasping at his heart is like, yeah, well, you have a crack in your neck. <laughs> Good God, are you still talking? My, my word, it's amazing that language hasn't abandoned you entirely, because you've just been butchering it, man. Yeah, well, you, your mouth doesn't even move. Talk. Poor Mofo, oh my god. Oh, god this is sad. So, I, I will be right back. <laughs> can we, can we meanwhile at the cart? Yeah, no, meanwhile at the cart, you, uh, it, it's oh, pretty no. easy to convince Dogen to, like, get out. Yeah. Dogen, uh, we have something very important for you to do. Oh man, what's the situation? What do I gotta do? There is an evil statue telling us what to do. Oh, and man. I know if someone doesn't like being told what to do, she gives him Ooh. a lug. That's right. I don't I don't really like the whole authority stick. Now, if it's just basic goals and tasks, I'm okay with it. But if he's telling you what to do in a way that's oppressive, you gotta do what you gotta do. Michaela looks back at Morfogu. One of our good friends is being oppressed right now. My god. <laughs> That's, that, that's what I said. I said, Maketa, my goodness. We need to hurry. <laughs> oh, beans and rice. I am so, I'm so steamed. Varys goes inside the cart. Even, she, even Varys is oppressed. We have to hurry. Yeah, what do you, do you just like go in, go in and out, Varys? Or like, do you get anyone? What Var are you doing? Varys grabs uh, a very large blanket and she's got her cheeks all puffed up and she is just... Mm. Are you gonna put Cor it on the stack? Cornelius is just <laughs> yeah. Corne Cornelius is just patting Morfogu like yeah, this way. Like, don't worry, bud. Yeah, at this point, Morfogu's just like on the ground, just like you. Yeah, uh, no, you don't. Uh, you, you uh, Michaela said you shouldn't keep talking with your jaw, so stop it. Stop talking. Look, look what they're exactly. doing. Exactly. Even Morfogu. your friends want you to do everyone a goddamn favor. At uh, least it's... he has friends. <laughs> <laughs> and at least he's got a motherfucking head on his shoulders. <laughs> blanket, tall blanket. Yeah, yeah. No, Varys, Varys hands the, the uh, blanket to uh, Ravi. It's just like, if you can't appreciate beautiful things like Morfogu, you shouldn't get to see anything else. Like getting your head about to be smacked off with a giant hammer. <laughs> yeah, no, you toss you toss a blanket over its head. And Dogen, although I don't have a proper stat sheet for him, um, smashing the system is what he does. He smashes the system, and this thing is... It's made out of stone. Get its ass, Dogen. This, thing, this thing's made out of stone. As you know, Dogen is experienced with smashing fixtures made out of stone that oppress the masses. So... Oh, yeah. Boom! <laughs> with a with a with a powerful work, blow, and you hear uh, you hear inside just a, a cheer from Baron Guy. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chaos, kill, kill, kill. Uh, this thing, this thing's block gets knocked off, and and it. Doo. Sick. I hope it doesn't get out of the statue and attack us now that it's free or whatever. No, I think it's going to attack us inside the statue still. And you hear you hear coming from inside inside the blanket that you've uh, that you've wrapped this hat in. Now why'd you have to go and do a thing like that? Please roll for initiative. Well, hold on. We can just leave now. We did what we were supposed to. <laughs> but this thing could. will definitely. <laughs> We'll definitely hunt to kill. Let's see. What what fight me? Oh, fight? finally a good initiative roll! Yay! Does does it still have the blanket over its head? So maybe we have cover. Well, if it's oh, is this the head floating or is this like a spirit yeah. thing? Let me zoom in. Oh, cool. Yeah, this one's cool. Let's see. I love having fame knowledge. I get the cool lore. 
You're in the right part of the world for cool lore. This place has a lot of fae. All right. Uh, Dogen. Dogen. <laughs> Dogen. Oh, I like how the body and the head have two separate initiatives. Yeah, Dogen, uh... Oh, God, see, I'd love to give Dogen the benefit of the doubt and say he would run away, but, like, he fucking wouldn't. <laughs> he fucking wouldn't. He fucking wouldn't. Why would he run? So, that's gonna be... It's gonna be Dogen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna gonna sort this shit. Cornelius. All right, more focus. All right, more focus. It's time to get up. It's time to stop. It's time to get up. <laughs> like I don't rousing want him to. off of his one <laughs> knee. Oh no, he's like on the ground now. He's like he's like <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's <laughs> like hood is covered over his head. And he's just like I don't want. <laughs> Merfogu. <sighs> All right, so My Cornelius jaw is. Hurts. It's Sad. okay, buddy, but I'd not like other parts of you to hurt when you get killed. So get up, <laughs> five foot uh, step. Death is the only thing that will save me from the hurt. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time to unpack all of that. <laughs> Uh, it's time to be, uh, so, like, there are two separate, like, targets and shit, so. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'm gonna shoot a Scorching Ray at the body, actually. Sure. Oh, sure. Uh. Oh my fucking god, Oof. but it's eight touch, maybe, in a, maybe. Um, so, this thing, yeah. Yeah, no, eight, eight will hit its touch. Hooray! <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I think I, I think I didn't mess with my mech. I think I got another dice on that because of my level. Let me check. Um, Is that the one thing I didn't do? I or... mean, Scorching Ray at a certain level, you get to shoot twice. If I'm wait, mistaken. no. Yeah, no, that's what the level threshold does on Scorching Ray. Uh, one Is it five? Every, for every four levels beyond third. Three, four, five. nope, nope. Yeah, so, so, when, your so it's level? yep. So it's just that then. Cool. Just that then. All right. So your scorching ray blasts the body for a small amount of damage. This thing has some pretty notable fire resistance, but you do get through. Ugh. All right. Morfogu. I'm gonna do a five foot roll. Um, uh -huh. still, still wrapped in my cloak. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just, I don't, I'm just, hey, Lamp. Mm. Can I have a four times size large Morfogu? Yeah. Yeah, sure. For fun? Yeah. For fun. And then we just make that one. Yeah, yeah, like that. And so, um, <laughs> coming from out of the woods, just, <laughs> is just this, this awful, like, you can tell it, it looks more fogu ish, but it's so much worse than actual more fogu. It's like it's like the more fogu that that this guy was describing as, <laughs> as everything. Uh, like like he just looks melted and horrid, and he's just uh, reaching down, barely able to speak any sort of language. And it's just, and uh, he's going to uh, he's going to give uh, give him an intimidate roll. Yeah, sure. Fuck it up. Um, so my normal intimidate's pretty good. Um, and then also, Bonus. I get Ooh, I plus get two right. I believe I get a plus two. So that's a, that's a this nice chunky chunky. Our focus brain is summoning the worst version of him. Yeah, yeah. All right, roll. Mm -hmm. hey. All right, so. 
So this thing shows up and does does its horrific bugaboo morphogu blood curdle scream. But this guy's in a bag. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> so, uh, but there is a scream. scream. There is a scream, but these things are nigh immune to intimidation and fear effects, given their combat method of choice. They don't really back down from anything. Your odds weren't great. Well, yeah. shit. Ravi. Oh. Poor Marvogu. <laughs> um, so the head that came off it, is it just lying on the ground or is this thing floating? What's it doing? Um, it is, it is floating, it is floating in the, in the blanket that you wrapped it in. Oh, it's a sheet ghost. That's cute. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to wallop the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Did you, you, just, just, first? Did you just grab it and like smash it up and down against the ground. Basically, yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm just gonna... <laughs> ragdoll physics. Yeah. So here's my first hit. Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. It's that Friday the 13th one. scene where Jason has got the girl hey! in the bag. There you go. Okay. He's being like, wham. There's one. I, I should note that first one didn't hit even with Dogen's help of actually providing flanking. Oh, okay. Wow. No, yeah, he is, doesn't he? But uh, your second hit, you uh, you smash into this thing. You smash into this thing, and uh, and like it it floats it floats back up. To, huh. Well, you must have done a number on your mother when you came out. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Gee, true. <laughs> okay, I'm very upset. So cleave power attack. <laughs> All right, which one are you hitting first? Uh, I guess we'll we'll go for um the head. All right, this is the most appropriate. So, uh, probably no flanking with. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, if I were to five foot step here, does that give me flanking and still hit? At um, least for maybe. I I I don't know. I don't know how you, reach. You works. I don't know you how reach flanking that. works. Then for that, simplicity, I will just stay here and, and do my thing. Yeah, I'll look I'll look into that, but for now, yeah. we'll say yep. it doesn't work. Yep, that's it. Okay, so here is with uh, appropriate numbers for the first one. Um, 18, 18 on the body? Nope. Oh, I thought it was the first No, one. we're okay, going at right. head first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, still no. Oh, shit. All right, then for the body. Shit. Oh. Double no. Does Cleave let you do the Cleave even if you missed? Probably not. Probably not. I, I think you do have to hit. It didn't matter this time. Oh, yeah, if you hit. All right. Oh, many rules in Pathfinder. Keep going. Yeah, so the the Graven's turn. Uh, it is going to it's going to fly it's going to fly off and it'll it'll take it'll take some attacks of opportunity for this stunt. Okay, I'm still in power. Even attack Dogen mode. gets one. Dogen doesn't yeah. have that. Alright. <clears throat> You you barely hit because this guy has mobility. Oh, okay. Oh. So enjoy twelve. Alright. Alright, it gets it gets banged for some damage with your uh, with your halberd. And Ravi, you get one as well. The slapping in is happening. Ah, but Ravi BRB'd. Well that's that's okay. I'll let Siv do that in due time. Uh, in the current time, though, uh, this thing, this thing shakes off, this thing shakes off the sheet. And, uh, it's like, oh, oh, I gotta say, you guys fucked up quite royally, as a matter of fact. And, uh, and it begins, it begins to, it begins to shake and shimmer. And you see a bunch of stone spikes emerge from the ground around you. ruh -ro, Raggy. ruh -ro. ruh -ro, Raggy, indeed. Oh, oh that's a lot of stone spikes. Indeed. So, let me let me just let me just check the uh, the rules on stone spike here. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure what it wants is a reflex save from everyone. But let me just double check that. That sounds correct. Let's see. Um, yeah. We make reflex okay. now. Yes, make reflex now. Ha, no. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe? 
The uh, the DC to shoot for is 17. Oh, thank Ooh. God. Oh, oh no. no. He is I'm laying so down. On the ground. I am literally laying down, like, with my back <laughs> facing the statue. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy's gone. <laughs> All right, so... Um, if you uh, if you pass, then congratulations. You um, you take you take half of this one d eight. Okay. Rounded. So three. Uh, yeah, three. Uh, three. And to those of you who did not fail, or who did fail rather, you take five, and your movement speed is halved. Oof. Oh boy, what did I miss? Um, you <laughs> missed. Uh, well, you get to make an attack of opportunity. You will also have to make a reflex save. This thing casts stone spikes. Oh boy. Okay. Cool. Is that the attack or is that the reflex? Oh, that was the attack. Uh, reflex is... I am Ravi. <laughs> you are Ravi. So you take you take five. Your movement speed is halved. Your attack did not hit. This guy has mobility. Only some of that is true. <laughs> Michaela! Well, I guess... Hmm. Do I want to get in there? Or do I want to? So these spikes have, have not gone away, and they do yeah. not show any signs of going away. Just yeah, so, so you know. I assume the longer I'm in here, every round is going to be a pokey damage or something. Ah, uh, the pokey damage is when you move. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Is it for all every of my square? stuff? Is uh, yeah, yeah I every, think it's every, every square, square you move. You take Oof. a D8. Nah, Dogan, uh, Dogan takes I don't damage have. Too. have... Oh no, not a token. Boy, all my stuff sure is kind of melee-y. Hmm. Um. I, hmm, hmm. We got a lot of people in there for melee. Um, okay. I, I'm going to move here. So I, I need to take, do another reflex for this space here. Uh, no, the reflex is just for, just for the initial, I think. Well, all right, hold on. Let me check. Um, or do I take another smidge of damage? Because I guess I want to get out of there. So if you uh, if you move, you do have to make another reflex save. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Let me do that real quick. 16. Still I believe that was not good uh... enough. So that's another d8 of 3. Okay. That is 3. Alright, I'm going to really move here and I'm going to use spells. Um, Shock Arrow. Um, I can form a lightning arrow and just throw it at this guy. Um, I guess I'll throw it at his head, and it's in, it's in range. It's like 100 feet plus whatever, so I'm mm. fine with that either way. Uh, so I'm going to make a ranged touch attack. Um, oh, God. Ten. Sadly, not not good enough. Should have gone for the my... body like me. Eight touch hits the body. Oh, really? I missed that part. Okay. Yeah. That's my only range spell, gang. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the bolt uh, the bolt goes the bolt goes whizzing past. Heck. Dogen. Well, that's all I got. Well, all right. Well, Do I guess Dogen's just going to keep going to town. Yeah, there's a body, body here right? to Yeah, why not? Smash. All right. Um how much does a how much does a warhammer do? It's 1d8. Really? 1d8 plus Oh, I actually no, that's a fat ass hammer. So like it's probably probably more than that. I'll I'll call it a D ten. Why not? Dogan Dogan smashes up this thing's body and knocks it into bloodied range. What? Wow. Oh, sick. Yeah. Sicko mode. The body. Uh, the body is not capable of uh, very much as far as attacks are concerned. It just sort of uh, just sort of exists. Uh, but it releases it releases a pulse. A pulse of of energy of of something. I need you guys to make you guys being everyone but Michaela. Uh, make a will save. Ah, oh, good. Ah, oh, good. Can't wait. Okay. Okay. Pass, no, we pass, we cool. Pass, pass, pass. Okay. No more Foku. More Foku. Oh! <laughs> he got really bumped out by everything. Yeah. All right, this thing, this thing pulses, and uh, and you hear 
You are just blasted. You're just blasted with a wave of of horrific insults. None of which, uh, none of which really pierce your skin, except for Morfogu, who is going to take a minus one morale bonus on attacks and damage rolls. Oh, funny. oh buddy. Makes sense. Eesh. Bleh. <laughs> really? Morpho boo hoo hoo. Morpho boo hoo hoo. All right. Just taking a quick look. All right. Almost makes me think of Doom a little bit. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna move because my health is so low. The chip damage could really get me. So, uh, I am going to. Sh the head's in range, so. Cornelius is going to use a new spell he got, um, as you all see him open his mouth and nobody hears anything except for the statue, which hears a pitch, high-pitched scream reverberate as I'm using ear-piercing scream. Nice. And so that is that? a fort save, fort save, for fort save for half and d to avoid being dazed. Alright. Cool. So yeah. let me roll mm -hmm. my... Did we establish this thing has pretty good, like, will saves? Uh, we did not in. establish that. Just trying to see what my yeah, options we're, are. We're, Don't no mind idea. me! Okay, hey. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. definitely gonna pass. It'll take half of seven. <laughs> Hell it takes half yeah. of seven. So it does still take damage, and it is knocked into bloodied range. Oh, so these things got... Is that already? Oh, both parts, right? No, the 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 head. Gotcha. I mean, both of them are bloodied now. Yeah. Right. I I guess they don't have a lot of HP, but they've got the hella AC and shit. Hmm. Morfogu. Boy. Um. <laughs> Morfogu rolls out of the spikes. All right. So your movement, your movement is one halved in general. And two, halved when moving over spikes. So, so he can just barely make it out of that. You can just barely make it out. You're gonna take two d8. And do out. I get? Do I still get the reflex save? Or you do. Okay. Hooray! Reflex is my good save. So be two for both spaces, theory. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's let's see. Let's see if you let's see if you oh, get it. Let's see. Oh, F. <laughs> you don't pass. <laughs> the, you this is the Fae of Fuck Morfogu specifically. <laughs> Ew, ugly, perish. I told you that it was a bad idea. Morfogu. It's okay, really? I'm only bleeding. My oh. tent missing blood. <laughs> oh. Not oh. even good anymore. <laughs> Robbie doesn't care. He moves up to this thing. Uh, it's still got the blanket, right? Uh, no, no, it shook free of the blanket. Oh, it shook free? It doesn't matter. I'm still gonna wallop it. If I can, uh, yeah, ideally... You... I'll go on. Uh, ideally, what I would like to do is just, you know, like, Hulk smash this thing off the rock? Mm. Yeah, sure. You can Hulk smash this thing off the rock. Okay. Mm. 19 tie to Defender. Oh, okay. wow. Uh, mm, I don't get my second hit. Yeah. You do not. RIP! And also, but... and also you moved, so reflex save. Yep. So, out of curiosity... Spaces, right? Out of curiosity, Siv, um, that attack roll, um, I mm -hmm. know when you do two weapon fighting, you get a minus mm -hmm. two. Is mm -hmm. You were doing a single strike with one hand. Is that with the minus two? Uh, okay, brain, go do your thing. Um... That is no. The minus two is my my separate one. Okay. Yes. Okay. No, cool. Thanks Just for a checking. second. Yep. No, you're good. Uh, reflex. Oh. All right. You take you take ten as well. Yep. All right. Ferris. Uh, let's see here. I feel like the head is probably more dangerous. Am I, am I crazy in thinking that? 
I'm, I'm thinking. Well, the head's uh, the one doing like, damage, right? Is the body Yeah, the head there? is the one doing damage. The body is doing AOE morale lowering. So. Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm here. I will. I, I, I will was about to say you're head. here, so I think just yeah. by virtue of not having to move, it's better to hit the yeah. body. I will. I will do a regular attack just to ensure that I hit it. Sure, you hit cool. it. All right, so just regular damage. You hit it by not as much as you hope. All right. All right. That is just barely enough damage to smash this body. Hooray! It is it is reduced to uh, to a pile of rubble that is still oozing this uh, this blue this blue mist that's sort of like gathering back towards the uh, back towards the head. Hmm. That's probably not good. All right, the Graven's turn. And uh. Sees that you've smashed its body. Huh. Hope you didn't treat your toys that way. Excuse me. Five, ten, fit. You can get an attack of opportunity. Fucking mobility oh. looking motherfucker. Yeah. Alright. 20. Alright, it's gonna come over here and Morphogus! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop Asshole. it! You see. You see from your from your slumped moralless position that some stones begin to rise up from the ground around this thing and spinning spinning furiously around and three stones are hurled at you. Uh, uh, this is just like kindergarten again. <laughs> Does a 19 hit you? You went to school, more uh, Yeah, yeah, that that hits. I have an activated mage armor. <laughs> Well, you you are you are prone. It's a ranged attack. Does that help at all? I don't think Morphog is for real prone. I think he's comedy prone. Oh uh, no! <laughs> yeah, he's comedy prone. Get this let's go. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> oh no! He's still alive. You're like a cockroach or something, Michaela. Uh, uh. <laughs> Seeing yeah. Morris Morphoga, none of my spells have decent range to even get this thing, so it's support time 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, so I have no armor still, uh, so I can actually move. Uh, channel energy on Morphoga. Morphoga, you have to get up. Nine. I'm Morphoga, great, you but... fucked up big time. Plus nine. Eight. Michaela. There, thanks, Michaela. I don't know why you- Morphogu, cut the shit and get up. Your friends are dying. What? Actually, we're okay. I'm really- <laughs> yeah. No! Everyone else is on fall. <laughs> Michaela gives everyone a look like, no, dude. <laughs> Rocky grabs his belly. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> ah, they don't we have to morale him out of the slump. <laughs> they don't need me. I just mess everything up. <laughs> All right. Dogen. Um, has nothing Dog to do. Dogen has like one thing he can do. So Dogen, Dogen will take like one step onto this stone platform, which still has spikes on it. So uh, his reflex is just not good enough. It's not existent enough. All right, Ow. Dogen. Oh, just instantly. Um, here. Hold oh, on, oh, let me see. How I feel like he did more than eight. And then... oh. Yeah, oh, now he's wow. he's close to being unconscious. So, Jeez. well, that's good at least. <laughs> Dogen, uh, Dogen sees his mark, which is the flying head, and he's just gonna hammer toss. He's gonna oh try and he's just gonna go for it. It's all he can do, you know. His odds are bad. I might, I might add. Is let's see, ranging. Uh, all right. This is Dogen fishing for a twenty. <laughs> It's like I think I gave him did I give him three before or did I give him two before for his right. damage modifier? I think it was just a two. Alright. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Impressive! Thank no, it's impressive that he hit it. 
<laughs> it's impressive like... that he hit it at all. Um, this thing gets smashed in the head, and its damage reduction is bypassed by, you know, Dogen throwing his fucking hammer at it. It's caught a little bit off guard by that and doesn't have a mean comment. <laughs> How could he? He got oh. owned. Are, are hammers times three? Um, oh, that's a good question. Pretty probably. Sure they are. Like big hammers like that? Um... I would say probably have to look. I'll, I'll yeah. check. I'll like, check they real, might be. Real, they are times three. All right. So, we get uh, another plus two on that. No, actually, the die has changed entirely. So oh, yeah. It goes from 1D... Went from 1D10 to 1D12, 1D which goes to 2D8. Yes, yes. Now, that's... That's... That's serious. That could... No. No, not he, that he, much no, better. A little, a little better. Oh, a little more well, damage. You know, he's he's doing it. I mean, listen. The, Three the more damage. This the, motherfucker has like the, 11 hit points through a hammer 25 <laughs> feet. I think we can cut him some slack. Yeah. <laughs> you can shit on him later, like a For now, he's a hero. <laughs> so it gets it gets smashed in the head, and it's it's looking very bad. It's oozing blue stuff all over. Cornelius. <laughs> I think it's about time you got busted, and Scorching oh, Ray. Oh, well done. Cool guy, cool guy. Cool guy. Oh, oh, are you... oh Dogen stole <laughs> Dogen stole my 20! So much for being a hero, Dogen, you piece of shit. Yeah, no, your Scorching Ray goes wide, and he replies, I'm the only bust you're getting anywhere near, man. Oh. <laughs> Eyebrow raise, like, alright. Boobs, I understand. Very <laughs> Thought you guys were supposed to do mean personal comments. That was just, that's pretty lazy. Oh, alright, fine. You want a mean personal comment? Or... Yeah, give me one. He's, he's no. intentionally taunting it, so one, so it stops fucking with Morfoku. Two, because, like, why not, man? Nice tail, asshole. His face goes fucking white. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he is white oh, as a sheet, oh, smile shit. completely gone, like... You asked. <laughs> is my movement still halved? Ah, uh, no, you're good. You're out of All the right. blues, though. Alright, I'm just gonna go up and, like... Like, Morfogo just gets up like a fucking bullet, runs <laughs> over, jumps off this tree, Climbs up through the branches and then, like, is gonna try to slam dunk this fucker <laughs> into the ground. Yeah, sure. Time to slam. Oh, Please. And then he no. misses. <laughs> no, no, no. down into the ground. Just, just like a more Fogu shaped shit. wily coyote hole in the ground. <laughs> tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Your form was excellent. I'll tell them to give you a booby prize. Robbie. It's all, it's all boobs now. <laughs> I you understand. Talk about boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ, Jesus Christ! Get I out of this place! More Fogu shows up right there, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> Oops. um, I'm gonna charge it. I'm gonna charge it and try and just scoop onto it like a fucking quarterback, and hopefully grapple it. I don't okay. take damage from charging through this. Um. Yeah, no, you you will still you will still be hurt, but let's see. Fine, no, I won't. Oh, you won't? Why is nope, that? My dragon style doesn't do it. Oh, does your dragon style let you ignore it wholesale, or just like ignore the difficult terrain part of it? I, I suppose ignore difficult terrain then. Yeah, so you it doesn't slow you down. You are still gonna get hurt, but hey, reflex save. Yep. <laughs> One second. Okay, that could that could have 12. been a lot worse. Yeah, twelve ain't that bad, and you pass. So and you pass. six ain't that cool. bad. Okay, one second. Uh, you can also add one and one half times your strength bonus on this damage roll for your first arm strength on the given round. Okay, uh, strength bonus is okay. Uh, okay, plus four onto this for my first smackaroo. Mm. God, 19 tie. Oh. Or wait, no. Yeah, 19 tie. Yeah, yeah 19, oh. 19 tie. Fucker! Varys! <laughs> okay. You're smack in the middle of all this shit. Varys, uh, her arm 
begins to glow with ice, and she's gonna do a, a snowball at our, our little head friend here. Yeah, sure. Snowball right. the head friend. All right, let's hopefully. Fuck, a duck. Time to defend her. <laughs> no, no, it gets another turn. No. It gets another turn. <laughs> I really tried, guys. No, I tried to. We all are trying. The things weren't down on morale, so it's fine. <laughs> so, uh, Cornelius, uh, the uh, he, he's fucking white as a sheet. He, he's fucking. He's yeah. No, that one. That one clearly devastated. Uh, will save, please. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's fair. No oh, contest. God, he's he is. Explode. No contest. Oh. He is fucking excellent. <laughs> Like, you in character. <laughs> you take a morale hit, and you're like, oh, fuck. And you barely notice that this guy, a bunch of stones, start lifting around him and are getting hurled at you. Like, he, like he's very busy. That definitely will hit. Golly. He's very busy looking at everybody else like, oh, my God, who heard that? Who fucking heard this thing say that? And then he gets fucking pelted. You get pelted by three rocks for, for 15. Oh my god. Alright, and it's gonna... Gives myself it's... a little shaken condition as a treat. Mm. As a treat. It's gonna go five, ten... You, you will get your... Well, uh, that's right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that right, what I do? Yeah, yeah, both of you. Both of you get Fuck a shot. Yeah, let's get him! Get him! <laughs> Oh, oh, Ravi, not more fogey. Really? Ravi, you got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, man. <laughs> All right. How would you like to kill the flying head? <laughs> oh my god. I would like to punch it into the side of the tree trunk and then once it hits the ground below it, just do like the fucking uh fucking, fucking curb stomp it. <laughs> No, no, do the fucking abaccio mista and fugo stop <laughs> on the ground thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. So, you you slam this thing in the side of the face. It fucking shatters. This mist begins pouring out, pouring out, pouring out. And unlike last time when it was all just gathering to this location, here it's dissipating. You launch it, boom, into the tree. And you stomp over spikes and don't take damage this time because you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> And you just kick the living hell out of this thing. Basically it, just trying to bury it in the mud with his foot. <laughs> you you catch the, the faint wisps of it trying to get out one last insult, but you don't care. <laughs> Combat is over. Do the is spikes the go away? <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh no, Varus is dead. Oh wait, no, no don't get it. Oh god. All of us are not in a great position to be getting out. We have a friend who can help. I do it. Just get Al to pick you up like a mother cat. You think yeah. I want Gogan to fucking see Al? <laughs> oh, right. right, right. The best I could do if I was not playing Varys would be karate chop him in the neck to knock him out and then call Al. <laughs> but I can't do that because I'm Varys. <laughs> Hey, can, I, can I make a hey, spell craft to see how long the spell will last? Can they just like hang out until it's over? <laughs> or is oh, this yeah, gonna be like sure. hours? You can make a spell craft about that. <laughs> I mean, in this world, magic is less permanent, so. Yo, dog, yeah. there is a spell craft. I forgot. Yeah, hey, Al, I need you to kidnap me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> You don't know. Varys, you've got an idea. These spikes will probably be here for a few hours. Okay, so. Everybody that's still in the spikes, which are the people that will most likely be hurt by them the worst. <laughs> um, these do leave in a few hours. Damn, that's pretty inconvenient. It's a gonna be a while. I, I can, um, <laughs> hmm. so out of curiosity, am I able to pick someone up and I take the damage instead? I mean, yeah, no, you're strong enough to pick people up. Well, like, you... like, would would they be hurt by the spikes if no, I'm... no, they're not on the ground. They're like They'd lifting them up. Okay, Cornelius, come here. 
No. Uh, uh, no, 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 don't touch me. Uh. Okay, hey, oh, hey, oh, whoa. Hey. Like, he, he's very clearly facing his back away from you now, and it's like, okay. but he's, like, too scared to step away, so he's just here, like, shaking, like, ah. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's just me. Okay. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick you up, okay? Okay. Okay, come here. And Varys is gonna, once again, Princess Carrie, uh, Cornelius, and make her way out with him, and then very delicately set him on the ground. Uh, I assume I take some damage. You do. Dogen can stay there, though. Mm. All right. You're gonna take half of that. Oh, a half? Oh, thank God. Uh, oh, so... oh, right. You rolled bad. You take all of that. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Spike <laughs> slurp at your leg. Yeah, that looks like it really hurts. No, it's fine. You're okay, friend. Okay, here you go. You sit right there. I gotta, I gotta go get Dogen. Songbird, uh, Songbird is like, yeah, I'll go get him. Are you sure? Yeah, I can get him. Okay, thank you. I'm not thrilled about having to touch him, but I can get Wait, him. wait, hold on. She, she just like before everyone starts running through these goddamn spikes again, she turns to Ravi. Ravi, do you think you're strong enough to punch through these spikes to get to Dogen? How big are they? Uh, they're pretty big. Like, just to go from like here, you know. Like, shortest possible route to yeah, Dogen? Yeah, I can try it probably be like he, here yeah no he he kind of like le he was like slob squatting down next to Morphogu. he kind of leans up and just like puts up a hand like one second <laughs> i can try <laughs> uh, you uh you punch these spikes but like they've got a way of magically digging into you like <laughs> you could but man, will it be impractical, and you will definitely hurt yourself. Wait, do we still have that, um... Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna suggest this. Ravi? Varen's hammer's over there. That way you won't have to touch the spikes. Mmm, you, you can smash just, it. You just smash it with that. He He stops, looks up. And to the left. Do, do you mean that we would toss it over to Dogen or Robbie would use it? As in Robbie would do it. Robbie would smash the thing. He, he, he looks over at it, and like off in the woods or whatever the fuck. He turns over to Dogen and pulls out his own adamantine hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you have that. That's right. That works too. He's gonna get to work on that then. Yeah, no, you're you're able to work through that with a with a proper tool, no problem. You you smash a you smash a nice way for Dogen, and he uh, he pats you on the shoulder, he's like, hey, thanks, man. <laughs> you were touched by Dogen, ew, 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 ew. ew. Yeah, well, he goes uh, he goes and retrieves uh, he goes and retrieves his hammer, his hammer. <laughs> M Michaela kneels down and sees Morfogu Morfoguing as there. as usual. Yeah, they're still there. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What? It's time to get up now. Come on. <sighs> okay. No need to slump, man. This is a big day. A large victory for the anarchist movement of Fairy Dame. <laughs> yeah, Dogan's probably having a good time. His, his oh, yeah, Dogan's, Dogan's having a great time. Although he got to smash the system on the road. His great what? time is being a little bit thwarted by the fact that his feet got impaled by some spikes, but eh. Here, if everyone will, will not go that way and come with me, then I'll make sure all of your... Wounds are attended to. More Fogu, get over here. <laughs> She's like, no, not having any of this. Hey, fine. Cornelia, Thank you. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, fine, fine. What makes you say that? And what did you hear? And yep, fine. That is a question. Did Varys hear that? Um, 
I mean, I have... it's just been saying these things out loud very yeah. rudely, so like... Yeah, no, it hasn't been slick. You guys would have heard it. Mm-hmm. Mikhail will choose not to acknowledge it right now. Because <laughs> okay. uh, now is not the time. Okay. Damn, everyone's well, in range. Sorry, I'm, God. I'm, I'm definitely curious, because he mentioned you had a tail. So it must be a pretty important story, but I can wait. Yeah. Yeah. Really big tail. Yep. Big story. Oh. Okay. Well, um, and Morfogu, are you okay? Say, what a rude rock! Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. You know what might make you guys feel better? Besides, you know, magical healing? What? what? A hug. Please don't. <laughs> okay. Merfolk, I'd give you a pep talk, but I'm oh. just not up for it. I'm just... That die is an asshole. All right, let me see here. <laughs> Everyone gets 23 back, which is more than enough. I believe that'll put me back. Oh, no. Max. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, I don't think you get any above Bobby your... got stronger. Thing, yeah. Thanks, Mickey. Wait, no, my max is different than this. This isn't my right max for level this up. This is the... The new Max, yeah. Uh, yeah I gotta do my new Max. You'll have, to, you'll have to fix him, yeah. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Now I'm at my new Max. On most of the pages, I think they were wrong, so I had to fix them on. Yeah, that's all good. And with my new Max, uh, but then I wouldn't be as low. Uh, yep, yep, that'd be fine. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, Songbird, uh, Songbird looks at uh, looks at the smashed up statue. So, uh, Guess there was more to it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Morfogu oh. brought up Fey stuff, and I was like, I mean, maybe, but what's the chances of another Fey? And then it was, and then it was another Fey. I mean, we're still within spinning distance of the Outwoods. Like, this yeah. happens. Force is lousy with them. Alright, wow. so she said we didn't need to come back. And I'd rather not backtrack. Same. Let's go. Okay. Varys, if I told you I have, like, a owl-level secret, you'd be fine with that, right? Like, you'd, like... Well, of course. Where's Varys going? Varys uh, takes your hand. You're, like, well, my best friend. Yeah. I guess but, us friends shouldn't keep secrets from each other if they don't have to. I, I don't want to, you know, push you in anything though. So you, you can take the time you need. <sighs> I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off, at least for you. Looks to see if anybody is watching. Okay. So, when she said tail, she definitely meant tail, like. An animal tail and not like a story. And he turns around and moves his like clothing that has all been very carefully draped around him all the time to hide this. And he just has a big fucking bushy fox tail. It's <gasps> just there. Fluffy. Yeah. Yeah, I let me tell you, getting this wet down in that place, dreadful. Horrible. Oh no. I had to go and take, go like all the way down the river and take a bath by myself. That sucked. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay. Obviously, I won't tell anyone. But like, what what can I do to help you? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of how I am. I'm, I'm not well, actually an elf, but oh, I, I I don't mean like it, it being a problem. I just mean like you said you had to go off on your own to, to do baths and stuff. Like, is, is there anything else? Like, can I, do you need me to play distraction for some things or? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I expected you to not take it this well. Is, did, did, are you saying wrong? No, it's just, I well, I guess you're up from North. I don't know if any of my kind get up there, but people 
don't really have a good opinion on Kitsune. It's kind of similar to Tiefling, but not in the same way. Oh. Yeah, like, you see Songbird, Tiefling... uh, Songbird walks back into eye shot. Hey. Hey! Yep, hi! Ahoy! And she, uh, and she, uh, she dusts off, uh, she dusts off a, uh, a very blue chunk of, uh, of stone. Mm. You guys didn't even collect your prize. Oh, we get a prize? Nice. I mean, that's what happens when you beat monsters. You get a prize out of them. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so he just, like, grabs, like, Cornelius' hand and, like, places it in it. Uh, what um, is it? I mean, it's a part of that thing, but I don't know what it can do. I you know, know, when I hear stories, hear stories about Faye and stuff, you don't really hear about what happens when you beat them up. Yeah, that's because people are impractical. I, on the other hand, am exceptionally pragmatic, and I can already think of, like, five things that we could do with that rock. The most rudimentary of which is that you could probably use this as a pretty major piece of, like, an amulet of natural armor or something. But, like, if you want to think bigger, this, this could knock... Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess like a thousand gold off of like anything that any magic item at all that has to do with earth or rocks or things like that. Oh, oh. neat. Well, I'd say it's pretty I... metal, but it's rock, so. I mean, it's well, quite literally not. Yeah, this rocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that stone was pretty weird. In case you're curious, felt like. It's hard like stone, but it felt more like a, more like a like a shell, like a bug shell with a lot of weird misty case, weird mist inside of a casing. It's it's gross. It's gross, and I don't care for it. Fair weird. Wow. Fair you weird. Wash your hands. <laughs> nah. She so, yeah, she looks around. Now, yeah, right. now do I have to wash my hands? Is we should wash or? our hands. Luckily, <laughs> I have mittens, and you see that she's got her big dumb mittens on still. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Awkwardly. <laughs> so that's my that's my secret, and most people, if I just walk into town and say that, would probably get me kicked out of town. So that's why I've been hiding it. Well, I guess that makes like four of us now that have that problem. Yeah, yeah. I think like like I think we like get attracted to each other <laughs> like that. Vera's cups her chin. Maybe that's how we figure out who the heroes are, the ones that nobody wants around. <laughs> that seems pretty sad. That seems pretty, it's like... really sad. <laughs> yeah, Slimer, uh, Slimer gets back from washing her hands. Yeah, that, uh, that's not really, uh, not really a feel-good end of that story. Now, uh, sorry to say, uh, for better or worse, my hearing is, uh, pretty damn good. So, so you, you got a secret that. for free. Crosses his arms. It's true. Yeah. It's true. I have a dragon. <laughs> but <I don't> know. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> turns around like mouse. I didn't say it. I just said his name. I'm covering for you. We're friends. You. <laughs> you already. We had a conversation about it. It was a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was. Because, like, you know... Fuck's sake. Al, Al has a tail, too. Songbird, Songbird <laughs> just grabs your hand, Cornelius, and, uh, and puts two of your fingers against her neck. Oh. I don't like getting secrets for free. Yeah. Yeah, this feels about equivalent trade. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I guess I gotta tell everybody else that some point. I mean, I could rip yeah. the band-aid off and just walk in there and be like, I got a tail! Check it out! I... Okay, so while I think that's very mature of you, there's um, the problems of Dogen, and I don't uh -huh. know what Tristan would think. I think Peter would be fine. Also, oh, scary grandma! Um, <laughs> and I, I would have... I think Michael would be fine. Unless he learned the word kitsune. 
Oh, that'd be pretty bad. I would definitely not say that word in front of Michael. Yeah, I don't Like, imagine that. his whole lexicon being rats, eggs, yeah, and kitsune. That suck. It's a like, little, just it's from little... a speaking standpoint. That's it, he, it looks like he's feeling a little bit better now. Yeah, well, hey, anything you need, I got your back. I mean, it's a little hard to brush, but... I can help. God, I haven't had my tail brushed in, like, five years, huh? Okay, well... Well, by someone who I... wasn't me, but it's a little hard to reach back there, and, like... Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, but you just let me help you, and we'll have, a. Uh... Hmm. I don't know what kind of night that'll be, but I think it'll be nice. A nice night? We could be like a secret society. <laughs> No, that's fine. I, the, the, like, I'm trying to say, like, it wouldn't really be a society if it's just two of us. Like, that's more like looks a at, secret pair. Looks at Songbird. It doesn't have to be two. <laughs> <laughs> her, her eyes, like, roll over. You're like, keep walking. <laughs> Don't you want a friend on the cart? <laughs> I, I think, I think, I think more Fogu needs more friendship right now than I do. He sure does. We gotta go check up on him. Pop, pop, point up. Oh Doesn't no, he's probably. Uh, God, if Dogen tries to give him a pep talk. Oh no. The ramifications. Oh, God. two of them. Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Ravi was over there. <laughs> you, uh, you guys make your way back in. Tristan, uh, Tristan waves to you. So, how did it go? Well, um, it... Boy. Like, uh, um, definitely not as it... deadly as the last place, so, like, that's a win. But our hearts are a lot heavier now. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Tristan could see when Morfogu walked in. His heart energy is probably ruined. Oh gosh. Mm. Okay, mm. Cornelius, we should we should try to help Morfogu, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean Ravi's over there. Let's just let's just see. Let's just see how he's helping. And we'll like go in for the swoop. Like to back him up if he needs it. Yeah, Morfogu will love to see us. We have never <laughs> been a problem once. Never. Nope. Not once. Not Peeking once. over the side of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're both looking around the barrel. Ahoy. <laughs> uh, Kayla said I shouldn't talk much. What? Tetanus. Oh. Okay. Michaela did say that. Michaela did say that. Well, if if that's the case, um, I just wanted to pop on by. I I know I'm a broken record at this point, but like you're one of my best friends, and I think you're really cool. Thank you, Paris. Yeah, you're one of my best friends. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Um, would you, um you can just nod for this. Do you want paper and a pen so you can just write down? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Um. Looks like Cornelius, what do we do? <laughs> I don't know. Laszlo, uh, Laszlo X looks over to you guys like, you, uh, why don't you, why don't you sit with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's give him some space. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, but like I didn't, I didn't know what type of person he is. Like some people are the want to talk about it, and some people are the want to sit about it. Not to, like, not to turn this into a burn or anything, but I'm not sure how you expected him to be anything other than the sit around about it. Like, like the weeks, yeah. <laughs> I my mentality is that yeah, sure. There's plenty of people that just want to sit around, but. Sometimes it's because they never had someone ask them. 
Well, he has he has plenty of options if he wants to. That's true. And Varys just like baps the the little uh, chicken that keeps poking its head in the cup <laughs> of water. Uh, yeah. Ravi has kind of slob squatted down near him. Anything else? Just squatting. Uh, no. He he was waiting for the babies to leave. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Once the babies leave, hey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um he he kind of waits and like ponders for a minute. Michaela said you shouldn't talk. That's okay. I will talk at you. Okay. You nod or shake head. Or if probably not. Was any of that the worst someone has said to you? He says no. Have any of us said anything bad to you? He said, uh, he again shakes his head no. I guess uh, I feel like being around you guys for so long now, or relatively long, I guess. I I forgot what it was like. Because it hasn't really happened in a while, even with new people that we've met. Mm. Robbie nods. And then... Hmm, I thought I'd be ready for it when it happened again. I understand. Because I knew it would. I had been so adamant prepared like I had this armor on because I knew it would happen again and then uh, it didn't and I feel like after getting out of the tunnels with uh, with our new friends I finally sort of felt like I could put it away. Robbie so purses his lips for half a second to try and think of how to translate what he wants to express. He he holds up his fingers in a in a little small motion, like when you pinch your fingers together. Little bit. More and more. People will always say bad things. Always hurt your heart, but we them nods over to the babies. We won't stop. bad out there. It's just I shut down and uh, threw rocks at me and it just I was in the pit all over again. Your memories, things you know, aren't 
your present. They were for that moment. I even reacted the same way. I just shut down and couldn't do anything for all the skills that I've picked up, for all the magic I've learned. It didn't do me any good. I just shut down. Some hero. But you're okay. I don't know. I have tetanus. <laughs> that happened before. Thanks, Robbie. You will be okay. Probably. He nods and just kind of gets up a bit and turns the other way, but still hangs out with him. Mm. Very nice. Michael, yeah. <laughs> yeah, while you're uh while you're doing that, uh Laszlo. Laszlo prods uh, prods a bit. Sorry, I've um, I've been kept pretty thoroughly out of the loop here. What what all happened? Oh boy. Well, so I don't know how much you know about Fay. We've been dealing with them a lot. Not very much, all things considered. Yeah, we dealt with a Graven, which is kind of like, like. It's just a really mean wisp that hangs out in a statue and insults you until you die. Sounds oof. That's why sounds... Morfogu's taking it very hard. Yeah, that sounds about right. Why were you why are you even dealing with a thing like that? Uh some skank told us. A sorceress who told <laughs> us to call her that. Uh Laszlo seems to be processing that. Uh, a sorceress? Yeah, yeah, I... Named Skank. She, yes. Uh, I don't know if that's her actual name, but that's what she told us to call her, so... I didn't Wait, call her that, but... Is Skank a bad word? Skank? He's slowly... Oh, no! 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 <laughs> no! You he did this on purpose, Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> he looks over at Michael, looks back at Varys, and just slowly nods. <laughs> no, no, I did. No, you're fine, Pat. Pat. Laszlo, Laszlo just steps up. It's like, um, and he, and he just, he just whispers, whispers what the word skank means. Oh, this is very educational for Varys. She looks <laughs> mortified. She looks up. I thought it was like, I don't know, past or present tense of skunk. I don't know. I just wasn't sure. <laughs> I mean, you weren't too thinking. long. You <laughs> like, can use it as a verb if you want. I need to lie down. <laughs> Cornelius in his head, she took that harder than my confession. That is the type of person <laughs> Varys is. Varys just lays on the books and looks at the ceiling. She... She is processing a lot of new information because now she has many more questions. Laszlo, <laughs> well, Laszlo well, sits down. I think I did more harm than good. She was gonna find out about it eventually, I think. Skank! No! <laughs> no! No! What will happen <laughs> next time on Make Amends? Next to the next to the sad party in the corner, Michael just keeps saying it. <laughs> Looks at Morfogu, skank. <laughs> Robbie starts strangling him. Rat skank. Yeah. Good luck trying to strangle him with his Rayman neck. <laughs> you know, if if Michael says skank rats, he is correct. 
Skank does have rats. Oh. Ah. He can warn us of exactly one thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great, but it's something. Can't believe this. Oh, uh, goodness. God Guys, I hope you had fun. Yeah. yeah. Ah. All right. Skank rats. Skank rats. All right. Skank rats. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's plug let's plug things. We plug have a Patreon. Holes. Consider supporting us on said Patreon. Ooh. I use that money to fund getting icons from Six. If you like what I do here, consider supporting us there. Yeah. So I can continue to pay. Yeah. We also have a Discord. If you haven't heard of it. It's our community hub where you get things like weekly schedule and all of our all of our all of our discussion channels for all of our games. It's it's a it's a hippin' hoppin' place to be. So consider dropping by. Oh yeah. And with all that out of the way, do we have an Emger? Yes. Uh, uh yeah we sure. do. It is from Frick. Night Terrace. Thank huh. you, Night Terrace. Thank you, Night Terrace. No one linked it. I'll get it. <laughs> Sorry, I was busy getting it for myself and did not put it. In the chat, that is on me. That is fair. Lovely. Thank yeah, you. take us through it, Rube. All right. So first, from Zephyr Erz, make a men's silent movie. It's not my fault. Windows 10 <laughs> did update. Did that. <laughs> it told me. It just does things. Thank you, Zephyr. Thank you. And then from Shay, it's uh, Michaela and. Is this character from something I don't know? I think it's her OC. It's her OC, whose name oh, is Skunk, which is similar to Skank, but isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I said, like, well, this is this is very nice. I like very it a good. lot. Thank you, Lovely. Shay. Heart. Heart. <laughs> and from Transbun, today I will stream Make Amends. Clueless. Clueless. <laughs> and Windows update shuffling settings. It's like a ninja, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Transbun. And for Transbun's a list of, of, to have it forever in it. Yes, yeah, just so, just so <laughs> everyone after the stream understands where we stand on gorillas, uh, gorillas, specifically this gorilla named Leslie, on playing professional football. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> 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 yeah, good luck. <laughs> maybe maybe Jump we'll ask that question on another stream. Yeah. Jump to the streams early if you want to get things like this. Thank you, Trans Button. <laughs> it's the fight Rocky. of our life. Boom. Whitewash trophy. Oh, I gotta pull the punches. <laughs> You'll no, die. Don't. You'll die. <laughs> nah. Thank you, Zephyr. If you go for non-lethal damage, it's a minus four on a bunch of stuff, at least. And for Transbun, you have... It's definitely not related. <laughs> Entirely unrelated, I assure you. <laughs> I'm not really... Ugh. I can't do it again, I'm not strong I enough. I can't... Enough. I'm not strong enough. Like what are you rat. talking about? There's no implications at all. I like the rat front that's like out of focus <laughs> yeah. that's me <laughs> thank you transbot i'm from zephyrs I... I did it before and i'll do it again i mean My yeah God. it was pretty yeah. good to have i'll do it for her and i'll do it again i'll do it for <laughs> her which is to say i'll do it for the revolution viva la revolution <laughs> <laughs> i don't like this song <laughs> thank you zephyr i'm from transbot this did just happen my word, are you just unsightly? <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Jesus. Be <laughs> nice, but more folk. He will not. He will not. From Reaver, babe, dead, what, so. what token sees in his head? <laughs> I killed it. I mean, not literally, but I fucking crushed it. Thanks, Reaver, what? babe. I, no. It was probably a safe, uh, safe assumption that he actually did the most damage against the head. <laughs> And then the last, I believe last, from Transbone. Or Fogu, wake up, you fucked up big time. Okay, love. I didn't say that. I said his friends were dying. I didn't say it was his fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's what he heard. Don't you put words in my mouth. It will be your fault. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta not be on the ground. 
And and that's Stop all it. that's all she wrote. I Guys, th I think there is one more uh, right? that might have been posted. Um, if you refresh, I think it's at the top. Yeah. Oh, it's the list yeah, of all it's of just more from Fogu's trans funds, parts. Just oh, from the only the last two episodes, and it's already oh. this long. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Oh my god. Baby Fool was worm-like. Was worm -like. That simply <laughs> cannot be true. <laughs> no, that was the funniest shit I've heard. <laughs> like, the thing is, Morfogu might just be wrong about a lot of this, yeah, too. Yeah, it's just, like, there's a good chance that it's just, like, how Morfogu feels. God. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks for keeping the background fun. And thank you guys for being here. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for running that. I had, I had a good time this session. I hope you did too. Yeah. yeah. I had a good time having a bad time. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks everyone. Thanks everyone who came out for, uh, for, for, you know, subscribing, supporting, giving us, giving us edits and art and such. You guys are the best. Thank you for being here this time. And thank you for being here next time. Say goodbye to chat, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. chat. Toodles.